Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. One Piece, starting with a review of Devil Fruit. Chapter 1. Ever since Luffy's rubber fruit turned into Nika, the sun god, Li Wei would compete with others on the pirate forum whenever he had time. Like most pirates fans, he had lost some of his defenses in his heart after chasing after so many years. The animation protagonist is too blunt, and the only good impression he has of the comic author is indifferent. Unexpectedly, the male protagonists of hot-blooded comics have to rely on the theory of blood to defeat their enemies. The three major hot-blooded comics such as Dead Fire and Sea finally embarked on the same path. In these days, cartoonists do not know anything other than blood theory, and their vision is too low and the pattern is too small. The characters of Whitebeard, Ace, and the three admirals were created wonderfully in the early stage, but they can't make up for the Wanokuni chapter. The reality is a piece of shit. It's really a mouse dropping that ruined the pot of soup. The manga will not be finished. Li Wei watched the latest episodes of the One Piece anime. Mr. Kaido was so frustrated that he was so angry that he time traveled in place. When he woke up, he came to the world of One Piece. This time travel was too perfunctory. I came too early. Luffy must have just left the sea. He didn't even have a reward. God help me. The protagonist does not have a reward order and can only make a rough estimate. The opponent has not defeated Arlong yet. Luffy's first reward order of 30 million baileys was taken by Colonel Mouse. Staring at the small print of Sea Circle Calendar 1520 on the newspaper, this timeline is just right. Things in the future have not happened yet. Li Wei, who has watched One Piece for more than 10 years, remembers the general plot and characters. But he doesn't want to be a pirate, nor a marine, nor does he want to be a dog for the world government. Li Wei wants to be an unfettered free man. To be precise, he wants to be a fun-loving person, to find happiness in this decadent pirate world. Have fun. Ding, the big talker system is online. This system likes people like hosts who are happy to watch the fun without getting too involved. Every character in this world can provide cheat points. Host can arrange lies at will to obtain a large amount of cheat points. These points can be exchanged for treasures, including recruitment. Heroes, including the generation of devil fruit, please host make good use of them. It's really a pillow when you're dozing off. Li Wei's original owner's body is that of an ordinary person without any ability to protect himself. On this small island that has never appeared in the One Piece comics, there may be pirates visiting it at any time. These beasts can only they will burn, kill and loot, and human life is just a stepping stone in the eyes of pirates. System, you are really good at judging people, but how are you going to spread lies? Do you want me to publish a newspaper? The original owner of this body was a fisherman, and his total wealth was less than 100,000 belly. He couldn't do anything without money. No one in the sea recognized Li Wei, and no one believed him when he told lies. Morgans, one of the kings of underground darkness, is a unique Birdman newspaper in the world of pirates. He has done many things to offend people, including world conquest, marines, and pirates. In the second half of the comic, he has become a road blows. Li Wei is still a little self-aware when it comes to competing for business with such a big boss. It is impossible to run a newspaper. Even if he gets rich and has a lot of money in the future, running a newspaper will be a thankless task. Host, don't worry, I will use the sky screen to cooperate with you. The sky screen will be visible to everyone in the world, and match the text with the picture you imagined. As long as the lie is not too outrageous, it will be easy to harvest the deceived person. Tenmo, then that's easy. I've read a lot of One Piece novels, so I can take this path. A virtual screen appeared in front of Li Wei. It was a store provided by the system. The goods in it could only be purchased with real value. However, the items were too expensive and there were no novice benefits at all. At least they were given a discount. An ordinary zone devil fruit is worth 5 million, and it is also a random blind box. There may not be any animals drawn. There are many animals. If an ordinary crayfish fruit is drawn, you will be able to eat it after eating it. Fighting on land will be weakened, fighting in the sea will drown, and dogs will not eat the trash devil fruit. Paramisha devil fruit is worth 20 million per piece, and Logia devil fruit is worth 100 million per piece. They are both blind boxes, and there is a high probability that you will not get anything good if you pick them randomly. 
The junior armament hockey costs 5 million, the junior observation hockey costs 10 million, and the junior conquerors hockey costs 100 million. As for hockey's corresponding advanced skills, the price was even ignored by Li Wei. You can also use it to buy some famous knives, many of which are not of this world. You can exchange them for those famous swordsmen in the future. They all love swords as much as their lives, and they may be able to get a lot of promises. Are you sure you marked this recruitment hero unit correctly? The hero summoning pool is worth 100 million per shot. Good guy, the system is really clever, and it doesn't say what hero it is. It is probably a character from Otherworld, but its strength is high or low. It is as strong as Sun Wukong in Dragon Ball, and weak. For example, King in One Punch Man, One Sky and One Earth are two extremes. Host, don't worry, the heroes coming out of this hero pool, even the worst ones, have Marine Admiral Candidate Strength. The summoned heroes can gain stronger power through subsequent learning. The products produced by the system must be high quality. A quasi-admiral level of strength corresponds to the level of an Imperial Lieutenant. The Phoenix Marco of the Whitebeard Pirates is at this level. Although his performance in the anime is very poor, Li Wei is in the real world and cannot underestimate any strong person. Bye. I just traveled through the system not long ago. Don't you have a novice gift pack? Don't tell me to give me a self-protection ability. Although the East Blue where Li Wei is located is called the Weakest Sea, and there are no pirates with bounties exceeding 100 million belly, there are still 10 to 20 million pirates, and there are even more pirates below 10 million. This the world is too unfriendly to ordinary people. The land under our feet is called Fuguang Island. There are more than a thousand residents living on this small island. They usually make a living by fishing, exchanging fish products for items from passing ships, and also farming to barely maintain their basic survival. They are really poor. Can't be poor anymore. There is no marine base in the nearby waters, and there is no qualification to be taken away from the heavenly gold. No one can take a fancy to this peaceful place, so pirates can come and visit. It has been very quiet recently. Only merchant ships passed by. Li Wei went on board the ship and bought a bag of low-quality table salt, which cost him nearly a thousand belly. The hero pool gives you a benefit, giving you a free chance to draw. Do you want to draw now? You wait a moment, I'm going to wash my face and hands. I need to wash away the bad luck on my body at this time. This is the first time in my life. Just do it. Li Wei lay down on the shore, took some sea water nearby, and began to wash his whole body. He hoped that the sea water in East Blue would bring him good luck. After all, it is the place where the protagonist was born, so there must be good luck. He was keen on doing metaphysics in the card drawing game in the previous world. Start the system, let me see which hero it is. The hero pool is being drawn. A blonde girl wearing silver armor suddenly appeared in front of the man, kneeling on one knee in front of Li Wei, my master, the hero obeys your call. Artoria Pendragon, Marine Headquarters Marineford. Report to Marshall, the same report has been received from all over the world. The sky above us does not exist independently. It can be seen all over the world in the Grand Line. The current Marine Marshal Sengoku felt a headache after hearing the report from his subordinate Marine. He thought it was a prank by a Devil Fruit user, but the situation was more complicated than he imagined. Haha, Sengoku, you have today too. As expected, you are more comfortable being a Vice Admiral and don't have so many worries. There was only one person who laughed at Marshal Marine in front of him, Sengoku's good friend, Marine Hero, father of the leader of the Revolutionary Army grandfather of the future pirate king, and an old guy who liked to pick his nose and eat senbei in secret, Garp Yea. Garp, you stole my food again. Where did you spend the salary Marine gave you? Sengoku came to his good friend, grabbed the senbei from Garp's hand and stuffed it into his mouth. He spent all his salary to buy these senbei. It would be better for him to eat them for others than for himself. The vice admiral's salary is not enough for me. Why don't you report to the superiors and get me some allowance? Don't even think about it. Sengoku can keep Vice Admiral Garp's current treatment, but he has been dealing with the Celestial Dragon's five elders for a long time. With his revolutionary son who overturned the world, it doesn't matter if he doesn't remove this marine hero. Polite. 
The two good friends exchanged some insults, and then brought the topic to the marquee, this marquee is a variable. Everyone in the world can chat on it. The chat content is quite lively. Even the Four Emperors Pirates edition put a foot in it. Garp, the marine hero, used his iron fist to test the hardness of the sky curtain. The result was that the fist wrapped in the top weapon color could not touch the sky curtain at all. The attack only passed through the sky curtain but could not damage it. After that, Admiral Akainu tried again and fired a few shots of magma on the sky. The result was the same as Vice Admiral Garp. This thing ignored any damage and was perhaps even more advanced than Devil Fruit. A white-haired woman broke in. The person who came was none other than Marine Staff Officer He. She slammed a stack of documents on Sengoku's table, most of the sky was a group of boring pirates, talking about useless things. It's nonsense, recording these conversations is completely meaningless, you can leave Sengoku to others. Sky curtains appeared all over the world in an instant. Ten days have passed since this happened. Crane followed Sengoku's order to record the characteristics of this new thing, and by the way, captured the movements of the pirates in the chat content. Marshal Marine wanted to get some more intelligence. He led his staff team and analyzed the various characteristics of the marquee in detail. First, when speaking on the marquee, the speaker's real name will be left. Second, the content of the speech must be true. Marine has tested in this regard. If you lie, it will messages cannot be included in the awning. Thirdly, regardless of any space restrictions, you can leave messages on the awning no matter where you are. Because of the characteristics of the third point, the content of the messages in the canopy was very complicated. Some were looking for lost relatives, some were looking for pirates who had gone to sea, and some were trash-talking each other. The scolding and quarreling lasted for thousands of floors. In the end, the location was accidentally exposed and was captured by Marine. A mentally retarded pirate who eats everything in one pot. With this free speech channel, people can accuse the celestial dragons of their evil deeds, accuse their own country of their brutal rule, and expose the secrets of a certain pirate group. These situations abound in the chat content of the sky screen, and people around the world have a better impression of the celestial dragons. It's bad. It's no wonder that the five elders severely investigated this matter. It's best to turn off the curtain and be out of sight and out of mind. It's not a pleasant thing to be bullied online all the time by people with real names. All in all, big things are not trivial. Marine's manpower was not enough, and now they had to allocate manpower to keep an eye on the sky. As a Marine staff officer, Ms. He had no choice but to protest to her old friend and ask Marshal Sengoku to take back the order. He, I know you are in trouble. Please help me hold on for a few more days. If nothing happens in the future, there is no need to send so many people to keep an eye on it. Sengoku always speaks politely to another old friend of his, unlike his attitude towards Garp. His contribution to Marine is no worse than that of the Marine hero, and he has never caused any mess. Not like a certain vice admiral. When it was time to get off work at noon, the three of Sengoku made an appointment to go to the cafeteria together. After all, you don't have to spend money to eat from the government. You can earn a meal if you can. After all, it is all money allocated by the world government. The sky has changed. Look, he pointed at the sky, attracting the attention of Sengoku and Garp. The canopy was originally filled with dense chat content. At this time, the chat content was completely cleared, and no one could speak on it. The background of the canopy became pitch black, and a line of blood-red text stood out against the background. One day later, we will take stock of the demon fruit power that has far-reaching influence on the future direction of the world. Each of them is a top existence in the sea. The sky can penetrate the future and the past. The review content includes the person's life story, hidden strength, and comments. This life's ambition, tells his great impact on the future, and releases the key battle scenes here, please stay tuned for people all over the world. Is this really possible? I can even know what will happen in the future, but it's a pity that I'm not a person with fruit abilities. Even Vice Admiral Garp, who is very nervous, has to pay attention. No one knows what will happen in the future. For Marine, their generation is struggling to support them, and the system of seven warlords of the sea is a slap in the face and a slap in the face to him. A righteous insult. Sengoku, do you know there is such a devil fruit? 
He is already old and does not have much expectations for himself. He is full of worries about Marine's future and the future of his granddaughter Peacock. Some things are getting out of Marine's control. If a cruel future scene appears in the sky, how will Marine face it now? What an annoying guy. I don't want to let you calm down until I have a meal. He, go and inform him later and invite all the vice admirals from this department to a meeting. Sengoku rubbed his head. Even if he ate the devil fruit and inherited the wisdom of Buddha, what was about to happen now was beyond anything he had ever encountered before. He didn't know what kind of future awaited Marine. Not only Marine is concerned about her future destiny, but the five elders of world government dare not slack off. The celestial dragons are always vigilant about Joey Boy's prophecy. Even if they have not dared to relax for the past 800 years, is this sky curtain different from Joe Boy's prophecy? Yi Guan, the haunting guy. Pirate groups of all sizes, after receiving the news for the first time, put aside the killing in front of them, and each held a grand welcome banquet for this upcoming carnival. If they can be recognized by Tianmu on the list, it would be a big deal. It's an honor to be famous in front of people all over the world, and it's not too attractive to pirates. The revolutionary armies hidden in the major kingdoms have temporarily terminated their subversive tasks. Under the orders of the Supreme Leader Long, they are also waiting for the future mentioned by Tianmu. Nami, you are my partner. Luffy shouted this sentence while standing on the ruins of the paradise. Nami, who is wearing a straw hat, cried bitterly on the spot. He really did it. This guy defeated Arlong with his own hands and saved the village. Luffy conveniently beat up the mouse colonel and asked him to return the treasure that Nami had worked so hard to steal. After that, the marine never dared to exploit Nami's hometown again. A small colonel in the army could not afford to offend. The protagonists of the Straw Hat crew have officially boarded the ship, and a red-nosed figure is waiting for work in Logue Town, waiting for the arrival of the future Pirate King. The clown buggy was defeated by Luffy and finally recovered his body. He teamed up with Alvita to prepare a big surprise for the kid who had just left the sea. Alvita has eaten the slippery fruit. She no longer looked like the fat woman tank she once was. She has become an eye-catching beauty. After being defeated as Luffy's first enemy at sea, the woman is very vindictive and immediately agreed to join the clown pirates. I'm going to kill that straw hat boy. I was disgusted when I saw that hat. I would pass on an important hat to a kid. Buggy did not tell that the hat was related to the red-haired shanks. The straw hat belonged to him after killing Luffy. Mochi, who was wearing a white animal skin, had meat in his mouth. Captain, your plan is perfect, Straw Hat Luffy will not be able to escape when the time comes. Buggy, who was riding a bicycle at his feet, was holding a wine barrel and pouring wine into his mouth. He wanted to take revenge on that Zoro man. He thought that his swordsmanship was no worse than Zoro's. I must defeat that green-haired man, male. Captain Buggy is also a person with fruit abilities. Do you think you will go to heaven? I'm really looking forward to that day, Alvita said casually. She knew how much the clown buggy weighed and bullied some weak pirate groups in East Blue. Good. Don't be kidding, Alvita, the captain doesn't win with devil fruit, but with his clever mind, Mochi gave the answer he had in mind. Buggy the clown is really unsatisfactory in the use of split fruit. After the body is split, both feet must touch the ground. Other parts can be split for fighting. It cannot be controlled beyond a certain range. It is a relatively prominent shortcoming. Paramisha demon fruit power is still needed. Rely on foreign objects to fight. Mochi is right, those who fight with fruits are fools. To defeat the enemy, you must use a smart brain. Buggy the clown has already thought of a plan in his mind. He will lead Luffy the straw hat to the execution platform and execute Red with his own hands. This is the descendant of the hare. The lion Licky was eating a piece of meat in the corner. He was a little bit spoiled by the clown pirates. After being defeated by the straw hats, he was eating or drinking all day long. His fighting will became particularly decadent and he had become a pet. Young men, raise your glasses and meet our enemies later. Long live the captain. The captain is invincible. These drunk men kept praising Buggy the clown, making him feel proud in his heart. With such a group of men supporting him, it would be particularly easy and smooth for him to find treasure in the future. After executing Luffy, he planned to leave East Blue, to search for the treasure left by Captain John. 
This man is not interested in being the pirate king or anything. It suddenly became noisy outside. Buggy the clown sent a subordinate who was not drunk enough to go out to take a look. Soon, the fat subordinate ran in staggeringly with a very shocked expression on his face, the sky screen, that sky screen. Now, the sky canopy. Buggy the clown looked at this stumbling subordinate. He became even more irritable after drinking. The split fruit activated a hand and flew out. He grabbed the collar of his subordinate and pulled it to his eyes. I scared you like this, so tell me quickly. What did you see? Captain Buggy, the canopy is about you. You are listed on the canopy, and your great image is hung high on it. Buggy. Huh. Mochi. Ah. All members of the clown pirates. Ah. Alvita even spit out a mouthful of wine. Stationed in the marine branch of Logue Town, Colonel Smoker is holding the latest wanted order in his hand. An incredible pirate has appeared in East Blue. The first time he was put on the wanted order, he was offered a bounty of 30 million berry. Now there is a sea of newcomers. Is the thief so outrageous? This straw hat is worth 30 million belly. Tashigi stood aside and reported, it was Colonel Rat who issued the wanted order. He was severely beaten by the straw hat crew and is still lying in the base recovering from his injuries. I will arrest him personally when the time comes. Such a potential pirate must not be allowed to enter the Grand Line. Smoker picked up the cigar with his fingers, and the butt part of the cigarette came into contact with the wanted poster, and the entire wanted poster burned in his hands. Smoker Logia Smoke Fruit Ability Users Come to East Blue to Station in Logue Town. It is a dimensionality reducing blow to small and medium sized pirates. No one here knows hockey and cannot hurt him at all. Haiji who dares to cause trouble in Logue Town all thieves were sent to prison by him. When Nami came to a clothing store in Logue Town, she could hear the proprietress praising Colonel Smoker. Before this monster came, pirates were rampant in Logue Town. It was only after Qingtian came that the security situation in Logue Town was improved. The owner of the weapon shop in Logue Town, Ipan Mitsuya, even vented his bitterness in front of Tashigi. Ever since the monster isolated him from the world, his business has plummeted and he is very unlucky. In the past, many pirates patronized his business, but now from East Blue there are fewer and fewer pirates going to sea, and it's all Colonel Smoker's fault. A marine soldier broke into Smoker's office and shouted, Colonel Smoker, there is a picture on the sky. Go and take a look. The person on the list is a pirate. Since the sky curtain appeared in East Blue, Marine Colonel Smoker tried many methods, first bombarding him with cannons, then using smoke attacks, and finally using sea stone, but he couldn't do any damage to the sky curtain at all, seriously jeopardizing Marine's rule. This man was frustrated for the first time. At this time, Smoker was still quite arrogant, unlike in the later stages of the comic. Although he was promoted as fast as a rocket, his performance was repeatedly defeated, and he could not even be counted as a unit of combat measurement, making him a poor marginal figure. As the first Logia Demon Fruit power to appear, the early lineup can be said to be full. One Piece fans unanimously believe that because he appeared too early, he was unfairly treated by the author of One Piece manga, just like Enel, the Thunder Fruit power user. The plot is not easy to write down. The limelight in Marine is occupied by the Deserter King. It is a pity that he did not win the title of hero. Tashigi, let's go and see what the future will be like. Received Colonel Smoker. The future good partners walked out of the marine office and looked up at the canopy that stretched from the sky to the sea. The marine soldier's report was correct. The image of a pirate appeared, and he was a pirate from East Blue. Looking at the standard red-nosed image above the sky, Smoker would recognize it even if it turned into gray, but why was it Buggy the Clown? That timid and greedy pirate could actually become a mighty man on the sea in the future. He somewhat suspected that Tianmu was deliberately misleading everyone. After preparing for so many days, Li Wei finally wrote a script that could look real. As an anime fan, he wanted to give Buggy the Clown some strength. Although the other party is a funny character, funny characters are the strongest in anime. The main character Luffy's Nika Fruit, once it appears, the whole style of the painting changes, becoming like the familiar Tom and Jerry. He had to do things like reading the manuscript personally. The blonde girl next to him would have her role in the scene later on. He couldn't let her voice appear in the sky and let someone catch the connection between the girl and the sky. 
It would be a loss outweighing the gain. Are you sure you want to follow this manuscript? If your script is played out, it is estimated that Buggy the Clown will be in prison for the rest of his life. Do you hate him so much? System, please don't talk nonsense. It is precisely because I am full of love for this character that I worked hard to come up with this script. After today, the reputation of Buggy the Clown will spread throughout the world. Li Wei opened his arms and hugged Hai Feng, if it weren't for the big talker system, anyone else would have believed it. Not a single word of this man's words was the truth. Buggy's image has been hanging on the marquee for an hour. The warm-up work has been completed. It's your turn, host. Let me see the strength of lezzy people. In a pub in Logue Town, all the members of the clown pirates had sobered up and surrounded Buggy the clown. They did not expect that the captain they followed would become a powerful man who would influence the pattern of the sea in the future. It was like pie in the sky falling on the heads of these gangsters. Captain, our clown pirates are going to become famous. We can recruit more crew members to find the treasure in your heart, Mochi flattered from the side. Alvida raised her wine glass in the direction of Buggy the Clown. That beauty doesn't like strong men. She admitted in her heart that she was a little misjudged. I really underestimated you, Captain Buggy. I don't know what kind of future the sky will tell you. It's really exciting. When I first saw the image of Buggy, I saw him as a funny clown. He was still relatively short, less than 2 meters tall, and not as tall as Alvita after she became thinner and more beautiful. You must know that in the pirate world, under 3 meters is considered a disability. On the sea most of the powerful people who become famous are tall and strong, and height will be taken into consideration in terms of aesthetics. I am the strongest, let's go outside and have a banquet together. In the future, Buggy, the clown, will definitely be a powerful figure in the sea. Buggy, who is now on the table, pointed at the ceiling of the tavern, laughing wantonly with an exaggerated mouth. He doesn't have so many thoughts in his mind right now. He just feels good and it's over. He just can't run away when being chased by Marine. His escape ability is top notch. He can escape from the enemy every time. This luck is not something hockey can boast about. As for the Logue Town Marine, Smoker received a report from the Marine soldiers, confirming that the clown buggy was in Logue Town at the moment, and the whole group was drinking and celebrating in the tavern. You are really underestimated. Once the news of the sky is over, arrest Buggy the Clown immediately. I want to see how strong this future strongman is. Smoker smoked a cigar in his mouth with a fierce look in his eyes. He could hunt. This kind of prey is so wonderful today. Colonel Smoker has a voice. It's a man's voice. Tashigi pointed to the sky. At this moment, the sky had a new change. The original image of Buggy the Clown was replaced by the entire Roger Pirates. There were two children who looked like Xiaomi. Thief, a red nose and red hair. As a man's voice narrated, all the eyes of the world were firmly attracted to the sky. Underneath this funny clown appearance, what kind of strong man will he be in the future? Buggy, this name will be resounding throughout the sea in the future. Everyone who has seen him before thought he was a clown who made people laugh, but everyone was deceived by his acting skills. A man who served on the previous ship of One Piece doesn't Marine find it strange that a man who is a trainee crew member is willing to stay in a small place like East Blue. You must know that the other intern is the red-haired Shanks on the Grand Line. The two have been best friends since childhood. Their relationship was so good that even the opportunity to board the final island was given up by Shanks because Buggy was ill. Unfortunately, these two our personal philosophies are so different that we end up becoming the most familiar strangers. When telling Buggy's life, I must first explain his strength at this time. The strength he has honed for more than 20 years is enough to shock the entire pirate world. Buggy is now nicknamed the Clown, and in the future he will be called Senryo Dauhua by Marine. He is the last pirate emperor on the sea, and has the Conqueror's Hockey, which is unique among millions. He is born with the qualifications to be a king, and learned the conqueror's hockey from the pirate King Roger, attack method. The top observation hockey has been trained. He can predict the future for a certain period of time when fighting against others. His observation hockey is also a little special. It always brings him inexplicable good luck, putting this man in danger every time. Turning danger into good fortune in front of you. Exercise high-level armament hockey. 
Haki can cover the whole body and provide him with a certain degree of defense and attack power. Because he disliked Kazuki Odin on the Pirate King ship, he gave up learning the skills of top-level armament Haki Emission. He is the demon fruit power of Paramisha torn apart. Based on the awakening of Devil Fruit, he further deduced the stronger power of Devil Fruit, which he named Devil Fruit Liberation. In this state, he can ignore the influence of seastone and seawater, resulting in experienced hockey users cannot resist Devil Fruit's ability. The two children of Roger Pirates are circled in the sky, and their names are marked below. The red-nosed boy is named Buggy, and the red-haired boy is named Shanks. The latter's name has already been resoundingly known. In the entire Grand Line, no one knew the name of the former before today. Captain Buggy, I shouldn't call you Lord Buggy. It's so hard for you to hide it from us. Mochi hugged the captain's thigh directly. He didn't expect that one day this thigh would be so thick. Master Buggy, please forgive me for being rude to you. The little girl was blind just now. Alvita walked up to Captain Buggy with a glass of wine. Only such a strong man is worthy of beauties to follow. Buggy Sama will be the emperor of the sea in the future. At worst, he will be at the level of the four emperors. All of us will enjoy it. It is the greatest honor to join the buggy pirates. The members of the pirate group surrounded the captain with laughter and laughter. Lord Buggy's future is even more exciting. Buggy, the clown in public opinion Uzumaki, looked confused at the moment. He opened his mouth in surprise. Although some of what was said on the marquee was true, the strength said was too outrageous. Paramisha Devil Fruit has developed two abilities and is the user of Conqueror's Hockey. What does this mean? He didn't even know he was so strong. He had been happily bullying the weak for more than 20 years. The lies he had told in total were not as big as the ones he heard today. Just when the world government, all marines, and the four emperors pirate group were assessing the news, a voice came out from the sky again and began to tell the story of the clown Buggy's tolerant life. Buggy boarded the ship of the Roger Pirates before he was 10 years old participated in a naval battle with the Golden Lion Shaki, and participated in a land battle with the Whitebeard Pirates. He has experienced thousands of naval battles, large and small, and has been trained since he was a child. He has a tolerant character, which will help him a lot in the future. The Devil Fruit of Paramisha was torn apart. Buggy obtained it in a naval battle, but his original intention was just to sell it for money. At this time, his ideal was just to find treasure. He had not yet awakened Conqueror's hockey, and fate played his first joke on him. After he deceived the crew into thinking that Buggy the Clown had eaten the devil fruit, in fact, it was a fake one that he ate in his mouth at that time. Afterwards, he hid on the side of the ship and was complacent about selling the real fruit. However, he was frightened by the red-haired shanks and killed the devil fruit in one breath. The fruit was swallowed into his mouth. It was this accident that changed his life. From then on, he could no longer swim in the sea for a long time. But fate played a second joke on him. When he was approaching the final island, this warrior who had experienced thousands of battles actually fell ill, and dragged his good friend Red Hair away from the final island. One piece Roger all the treasures were left on the final island of Raftal. One piece really exists. Before he landed on the final island, Roger knew that he had a terminal illness that could not be cured by any medical means. He told the members on the ship the news, and took the initiative to disband the Roger pirate group. The members of the pirate group dispersed one after another. Everywhere, he later surrendered to Marine Vice Admiral Garp and made an excessive request in Marine prison. The Marine hero agreed to this sympathetic opponent at the time, laying the foundation for future disaster. The Marines reported complacently that they had captured the pirate king on their own, but in fact they had deceived everyone in the world. They wanted to use this to establish their power, but they didn't expect to fall into Roger's trap. Unexpectedly, in the last moment of the Pirate King's life, he shouted, Impact! A few words from the world completely pushed the world into the era of great pirates, and set a clear goal for all pirates, that is, the One Piece, and whoever gets it will be the next Pirate King. When Roger was tortured and executed in Logue Town, Buggy and Shanks were watching the whole process below. Witnessing the death of their most beloved captain had a major psychological impact on Shanks, causing him to doubt the next step in his life. He was completely trapped and in confusion. You must know that Roger gave the straw hat to Shanks before his death, which meant giving him the will and mantle of the Pirate King. 
Buggy knew this and always understood the huge gap between him and Shanks, but after Roger's death, the belief of his best friend was actually shaken. In fact, Shanks did not inherit Roger's will. In the heavy rain after the execution, Buggy met Shanks, who was most confused in his life. For this reason, Buggy directly broke off relations with Shanks and refused Shanks' request to invite him on the ship. That night Buggy was caught in the rain all night, and woke up at Don Conqueror's Hockey. In the beginning, Buggy's ambition was to be the captain of a pirate group and to search for treasures unscrupulously on the sea. However, due to two tricks of fate, this man changed from the inside out. Since then, it has been more than 20 years. During this time, he has never left East Blue, hiding in a corner where no one cares about him, constantly developing his devil fruit ability. He wants to realize his dream one day. Buggy doesn't want to be a pirate king. He wants the world to take off its shackles and fall completely into unfettered freedom. Unfettered freedom means bottomless chaos. After the era of great pirates brought about by Roger, the whole world will be in the future. Being pushed into a more chaotic dark age by the clown pirates. More than 20 years of forbearance was finally broken by a boy wearing a straw hat. When Buggy saw the adventurous spirit exuding from Luffy, a straw hat, and shouted that he wanted to be the Pirate King, this former One Piece crew member actually saw the Pirate King Roger in him. Faced with the red-haired Shanks, the successor found by Captain Roger by his best friend, Buggy was very satisfied in his heart. He still pretended to be weak as before and was easily defeated by Straw Hat Luffy. Seeing the appearance of the boy who inherited the will of the previous Pirate King, Buggy realized that the time had come for him to go to sea. After more than 20 years of waiting, he had finally taken the first step of the plan he had planned for many years. Videos were interspersed with Amora's words at the same time, and the images of various pirates were clearly revealed, especially the boy who inherited the will of the Pirate King, and there were even scenes of two people fighting. In the end, the funny clown was left with only one head, hands and feet. Luffy, the straw hat boy, stretched out his arms and, easily, blew away Buggy the clown with rubber fruit. All of this was performed by that man, and he showed his weakness incisively and vividly. Audiences around the world understood for the first time how the old slut acted. The Straw Hats on Going Merry were even more stunned. They did not expect that their figures would appear in the sky. Zoro Usopp Sanji Nami, and most importantly, Luffy, were all given close-ups of individuals and battle scenes with enemies. Ah, I was deceived. I didn't expect Buggy to be so powerful. He really looks down on people. If we meet again, we must let him use his true skills. Luffy stood on the deck and raised his hands, imagining the real duel with Buggy the Clown. He is still so heartless, and he is still the most familiar male protagonist of the hot-blooded drama. This undisciplined captain was greeted by Armament Hockey's fist. Nami's heavy punch left a big bump on Luffy's rubber face. You idiot, if you go to him again, you will die. He can let him go. You were related to his old friend once. If you provoke him, be careful and he will beat him to death on the spot. After saying these words, Nami felt even more scared. She didn't expect that a little thief cat like herself would steal the treasure of a powerful pirate. Buggy was countless times more powerful than the dragon. The woman also emptied all the treasures of the entire clown pirates, leaving nothing for Buggy. It was true that thieves never emptied their treasures. This scene also appeared in the sky. Nami looked at her past self's money-obsessed expression. She wished she could go back to the past and beat up Nami in the past. Master Buggy was so terrifying. The navigator was thinking in his mind whether he should pay the treasure to Lord Buggy. If such a strong man was interested in him, Nami would even eat and sleep with fear. How could I provoke such a monster? It was so hard to steal something. It really pisses me off that I have to pay it back to someone else. Nami was so angry that she punched Luffy twice. Zoro recalled the bicycle man he fought with. In order to show weakness, a strong man like Buggy actually recruited such a rubbish crew around him. He really acted in full. Luffy thought of Shanks. The two hadn't seen each other for many years, so he took off his straw hat in nostalgia, I met everyone on Shanks' ship in Windmill Town. He finally entrusted me with this straw hat, which strengthened my determination to become the Pirate King. Some people in the straw hats are happy and some are sad. The name Buggy has entered the mainstream view. Grand Line New World. 
At this time, the red hair pirates were all on their way to the Whitebeard Pirates. On the way, the crew members kept staring at the sky screen. The contents of the sky screen broadcast really shocked the other crew members. As half of the protagonist, the red-haired Shanks also after enjoying the same treatment as Buggy, the crew members gathered around and asked questions. Is this funny clown captain really the same trainee crew member of the Pirate King as you are? Is all this true? Most of what was said on the canopy is true. I didn't expect it to be exposed today. However, I feel strange about Buggy's strength. He has never shown such a talent before. Red-haired Shanks hadn't seen him for more than 20 years. As for Buggy, he has never been his match on the ship, but if they are on the same ship, how can the crew of One Piece be any good at each other? Shanks took out a life card from his bag. He has kept it for more than 20 years, which is enough to prove the fighting friendship between the two. This is Buggy's life card, but this guy was luckier than others when he got on the ship. This was verified in the naval battle with him. Perhaps as said in the sky, it was his observation hockey that brought him good luck. Beckman played with his rifle. He was a strong man who could compete with his captain. He immediately became interested in Buggy the Clown. If the captain meets Buggy next time, I want to compete with him to see if he has a canopy. That's so powerful. Lakalu put forward his own idea. Captain, when we are in East Blue, if you go to Buggy and invite him on board, maybe he will agree. Chef Lachalu witnessed with everyone. Captain Shanks passed the straw hat on his head to Luffy. Now it seemed that he was witnessing a transfer of Roger's will. He knew that although the captain admired Roger, the pirate king, Shanks didn't want to become Roger, let alone anything else, people. The captain should be himself, be the red-haired Shanks, walk his own path, and hand over the straw hat before continuing to go to sea with his current partners. After that, he would fight for many years in the sea to reach his current position. Luffy has such a reckless character. The first thing he said when he opened his mouth was probably I want to be the Pirate King. No matter how stupid Buggy is, he can still recognize that hat. With his current strength, he won't hurt Luffy. When talking about Luffy Shanks, his face was filled with tears. With a smile, he could see Roger's figure in that boy. It was worth betting an arm on East Blue. East Blue has Buggy taking care of Luffy. I'm more worried about Ace now. Shanks touched the three claw marks at his eyes. These were the wounds left by Blackbeard Teach. Ace was definitely no match for this man. Inform the crew to set off at full speed. I want to see Whitebeard as soon as possible. All this is for Ace, for Captain Roger's only posthumous son. The originally cheerful atmosphere on the ship suddenly turned solemn. In Logue Town, the gateway to East Blue, Marine, the weakest in the world, had to face a known powerful enemy. Morale was on the verge of collapse. Not everyone had the courage to go. Facing a powerful four emperors man who has been hiding for so long. Colonel Smoker received it directly from the phone call opened by Marshal Sengoku. I am Sengoku, Colonel Smoker, you can't hockey, and you are definitely no match for Buggy. You must do your best to protect Marine in Logue Town. I have sent Admiral Akainu to reinforce you. Smoker has been guarding East Blue for so many years, and a few words from the Marquis will not shake his belief. He does not believe that Buggy the Clown has such strength. Marshal Sengoku, don't be deceived by the words on the Marquis. I once hunted down Buggy the Clown. Except for being lucky, he is no match for me. I can deal with him by myself. The phone bug showed Sengoku's angry look. Smoker, please don't be impulsive. The part about Garp on the screen is true. The fact that Roger turned himself in due to terminal illness is Marine's absolute secret. Only the top people know about it. I believe it. These people will not leak out, so Buggy the Clown's strength needs to be reevaluated. I know, Marshal Sengoku, I will wait here for a Kainu Admiral. Although he said this, Smoker believed in his own intuition. The Clown Buggy must not be let go today. After hanging up Marshal Sengoku's call bug, Colonel Smoker and Marine behind him ordered, I'm going to capture Buggy the Clown. Tashigi, follow me and be a witness. I want to expose the lies on the sky. Upon hearing that the colonel was so impulsive and dared to disobey Marshal Sengoku's order, they all tried to dissuade him. Colonel Smoker, you must not do this. If you are unable to defeat Buggy the Clown, the entire Logue town will suffer. We should wait for a Kainu Admiral. The marine we have here doesn't know how to hockey. 
He can't fight Buggy the Clown at all. Colonel, please don't be impulsive. Smoker just informed the Marine soldiers present that before Admiral Akainu came, he was the top administrator of Logue Town. No one dared to disobey his orders and no one could interfere with his actions. Tashigi, hold me tight and let's go there together. Home Tavern, put the buggy pirates in jail. Colonel Marine's lower body turned into white smoke. He hugged Tashigi and used a white smoke injector. The two figures instantly rushed into the air, shook off the marine soldiers who were in the way, and flew in the direction of the clown pirates. On the other end of the phone at the marine headquarters, Sengoku had just put down the phone bug and came to his old friend Garp with a gloomy look. He looked at the former marine hero who was eating senbei. At this moment, he was still pretending to be in front of the marine marshal. Confused, Vice Admiral Garp, I am now asking you as the marshal, what did you talk to Roger in prison, don't play dumb for me here. Garp was panicking in his heart, but he didn't show it on his face, Sengoku, what are you talking about? How could I agree to the Pirate King's request? I'm a marine hero, I would never do such a thing. After that, he said go look through Marshal Sengoku's drawers. Good gay friends have been getting along with each other for so many years, and both of them have done things like wearing a pair of pants. Sengoku knows Garp too well, Garp, you can fool me today, can you fool the five elders? You do it every day. It's going to get me into trouble. Marshal Sengoku looked at the guy who stole his senbei in front of him, and he was so angry that he raised his leg and kicked the old guy Garp several meters away. I have told you so many times, don't steal my senbei, you this old fool. The marine hero received this kick. He rolled on the spot and stood up again. Although the senbei in his hand was stained with dirt, he didn't mind eating it again. Anyway, I didn't agree to anything. Five elders personally come and ask me, I will give the same answer. Garp will never betray Ace. Even if this grandson is not his own, after so many years of getting along with him, he has become no different from his relatives. He will never admit that Ace is the child of the Pirate King. The buggy pirates, the whole group was still immersed in the banquet, and did not realize that their whereabouts had been monitored by Marine. Even the young Marine who monitored them thought that this pirate group was too weak, and the depiction on the sky screen was too exaggerated. Fake. If Buggy really has top-level observation hockey, will he not be able to find a Marine who doesn't know how to hockey? This guy also hid in the dark and took out the phone bug to report, the repeated target has not left. The repeated target has not left. Please give next instructions. The other end of the phone was connected to the Logue Town Marine base. Soldier, your mission is completed. Colonel Smoker will be arriving soon. Now I order you to retreat immediately and avoid being affected by the battle. Roger, the surveillance officer hung up the phone. He was able to join Marine because he was inspired by Colonel Smoker. In the heart of this young Marine, the Colonel was as powerful as a monster, and pirates would only be defeated in the opponent's hands. As soon as the conscientious Marine left, Smoker, who used a white smoke launcher, rushed to the scene. The man had two cigars in his mouth, Tashigi, go and drive away the surrounding townspeople. We won't be able to care about them when the fight starts. I can deal with the buggy pirates alone. Tashigi gave a military salute to the colonel, and then dragged his saber to complete Smoker's order. Not only did this woman have a good image, but her personal strength was second to none in the Logetown Marine. She would help solve the problem if something slipped through the net. Buggy the clown asked me to meet you, White Fist. Smoker's limbs detached from his body, dragging a long trail of advancing white smoke behind him. He broke through the tavern door and flew in the direction of Buggy. The Chop Chop fruit developed can only automatically dodge and avoid the swordsman's attack. For blunt weapon attacks or hand-to-hand -hand combat, he needs use your own brain to react. Two fists hit the clown buggy right in the face. The huge force caused him to fly out and smash into the wine cellar behind him. The captain was suddenly attacked and everyone was brought back to reality, which brought out the screams of their captain. Captain, how are you? Who dares to sneak attack Captain Buggy? I will fight with you. Let's all attack together. A white-haired man with a cigar in his mouth pushed open the broken door of the tavern and said, as I thought, everyone was deceived by the Marquis, an unworthy clown. Marine Smoker, why is he here? Oh my god this monster, I don't want to be transferred to jail. Captain Buggy, please save us. Who doesn't know Smoker in East Blue? 
With this Logia demon fruit power, beating these pirates is like a grandpa beating his grandson. The little pirates have no ability to fight back. In the early version of One Piece, there was no hockey. Smoker chased the future One Piece king in several countries. It was not easy to bully Luffy and his gang. Unfortunately, with the subsequent version changes, the effect of smoke fruit became worse and worse. In the face of the dark and hard-armed colors, he repeatedly failed and became the younger brother among younger brothers. Launching the chop-chop fruit buggy, half of the body flew out of the ruins. The white fist hit really hard, and a big purple bump appeared on the face of the funny clown. Marine, how dare you disturb the clown's banquet? I'll go to hell. Buggy, carried away by anger, threw a special buggy bomb at Smoker. The enemy did not make any move, you can touch me even if you don't know the color of the weapon. Smoker took the initiative to elementalize his body, and the buggy bullet passed through a white smoke and flew into the shop behind Marine. There was a violent explosion with a bang, blowing the clothing store into rubble. Logia Demon Fruit Power, you are Marine Smoker. Did you find it too late, Buggy the Clown, by man? His arm turned into a white smoke snake and grabbed Buggy's upper body. Buggy's head and upper body split again, escaping the white snake's capture, but the white smoke snake failed to hit it, and instantly turned in a circle in the air, opening its head wide and continuing to bite the pirate's head. The drunkenness faded during the battle. Buggy had just been carried away by the information in the sky, but in reality he had no such strength. Hockey could not hurt Logia users. If he had known this, he would have left just now. After poor Buggy evaded capture by White Snake several times, Smoker finally choked his head with smoke. The strength gap between the two sides was too big. You can't run away this time, Buggy the Clown, you are really too weak. Let Captain Buggy go, Buggy's loyal men overcame their fear, picked up their own guys, and attacked Captain Marine. Alberta swung the mace and hit Smoker on the head, Buggy on a unicycle stabbed Smoker's chest with the long sword in his hand, Mochi commanded Lion Licky to bite Smoker's thigh, and the three strongest cadres of the clown pirates took action at the same time. No matter how many times the beauty Alberta hits her, no matter how many times the Buggy sword stabs her chest, Lion Licky misses every time. In the face of the elementalization of Logia Devil Fruit, even tickling Smoker is not considered a waste. The captain and his useless subordinate are a perfect match, White Gale. Marine Smoker's body generated more white smoke, which instantly enveloped the entire tavern. The white smoke swept all the pirates into the air, and even Alberta, who had eaten the slippery fruit, was not immune. Buggy the Clown was even worse. His feet were found by smoke, and his body divided into multiple pieces was wrapped in smoke. He was also controlled in the sky like his men. Smoker, I am the brother of red-haired Shanks. You can't catch me. You are not afraid of four emperors. Revenge. Shanks is still in the Grand Line. When he comes East Blue, you are already in jail. No one can save you today. Stronger pirates will be dealt with by stronger marines. Smoker just needs to take care of his own territory. He manipulated the smoke to lift more than 20 pirates. He did not expect that the battle would be so easy. Smoker walked out of the tavern and saw Tashigi who had completed the task and asked, Did you wear marine seastone handcuffs? There are two fruit abilities in them. Bye. Report to the colonel, I only have one pair of handcuffs here. Cuff the clown first. His fruit is troublesome and likes to run around. Ignore that woman first. Smoker didn't recognize Alberta. The woman on the wanted poster was still a fat woman. Tashigi walked up to Buggy the Clown and asked the question in his mind, do you have anything to do with this marquee? You are so weak and yet you are praising a clown like you. You really don't know how to choose a partner. How do I know? Who blew me away so much? I'm so unlucky. The clown Buggy was controlled by the smoke and felt even more aggrieved. Tears rolled in his eyes. He didn't understand how he provoked the person behind the curtain. People actually want to enjoy such flattering treatment. This pirate doesn't know Conqueror's hockey, so don't bother a Kainu Admiral. As soon as Smoker finished speaking, the sky began to change again, and Colonel Marine actually appeared in the sky. Tashigi used Seastone handcuffs to successfully cuff Buggy the Clown's hands. His disintegrated abilities were instantly released, and he was reassembled into a dwarf less than 2 meters tall. 
At this time, new content was played on the sky screen, and the sound accompanied the picture commentary. Only in dynamic videos will only be shown in key parts. Buggy's first goal when he went to sea was to sneak into the underwater prison, try to enter the sixth level of eternal hell, and find the former One Piece crew member who was imprisoned here, Bullet. In order to deceive others, he teamed up with the slippery fruit power user Alberta and waited for Straw Hat Luffy and his gang in Logue Town. He also helped his best friend Shanks test each other to see if he could carry the will of Roger the Pirate King to reconquer the Grand Line. Things went very smoothly. Straw Hat Luffy was tricked into being sent to the execution platform. This was the place where Roger the Pirate King was tortured at that time. Buggy used Seastone to control his rubber fruit ability. More than 20 years later, at the same place, he wanted to execution of a boy who shouted to be the Pirate King. Faced with the test of life and death, Luffy, who was less than 20 years old, was able to face death with a smile. He had such a strong spirit. Buggy was very happy in the wind and rain. Luffy, the straw hat, had indeed inherited Roger's legacy. The spirit of the captain, if Luffy had been crying and begging for mercy on the execution platform, the pirate Buggy would have immediately executed him and would never give Shanks face. A person who is greedy for life and afraid of death is not worthy of carrying Captain Roger's shoes. This boy may really be able to become the next Pirate King. Buggy the Clown has a very accurate eye for people. This young man and his friends marched towards the one piece of the former Pirate King, encountering various powerful enemies along the way. In the end, these people fell at their feet. Defeat Crocodile of Seven Warlords of the Sea Logia Sand Sand Fruit Ability User in Alabasta Defeat God Enel Logia Thunder Fruit Ability User in Sky Island Defeat CP9 Luchi Zone Cat Fruit Leopard Form in Eni's Lobby I won't list all the powerful enemies here one by one, let's continue talking about Buggy the Clown. During this period, there are interspersed scenes of the defeat of these people, one after another being beaten unconscious by Luffy. The degree of credibility is 100%, allowing the world to see the ugly appearance of these defeated generals. A thunderbolt struck Buggy from the sky. He was able to withstand the attack without any armed defense. The plan went perfectly. Colonel Smoker, who had been waiting under the execution platform for a long time, took the initiative to run towards this place in order to help Luffy escape. A user with Logia fruit ability. But he underestimated the White Hunter's desire for the bounty. Smoker was more interested in Luffy, who had a bounty of 30 million, and ignored Buggy directly. He just sent marine soldiers to surround him. Buggy knew in his heart that Luffy, who would not hockey, would never he is no match for Smoker. We cannot let this kid's journey end here. I'm sorry for both Shanks and the dead Captain Roger. Buggy's original purpose was to have Colonel Smoker capture him personally. Marine will definitely imprison a pirate with demon fruit power in a large underwater prison. However, if the plan is executed perfectly, there are too many variables, and there is also a mysterious strongman. Whoever disrupts the situation, the other party can actually control the strong wind. Marine reinforcements have arrived, but seeing this scene on the sky screen, the arrest scene coincides with Buggy the Clown's plan. The other members of the Clown Pirates, who were already very depressed after being hit, were rebuilding their morale at this moment, blowing a rainbow fart at Buggy the Clown. Captain, you are awesome, this is all in your plan. Boss Buggy is so cool, I want to go to the underwater prison with him. Alberta, add me one. Buggy, who was controlled by the Seastone handcuffs, couldn't use any strength at this moment. He let the fiery smoker step on him and said, what is your purpose? If you don't tell the pirate, I will kill you on the spot. Tashigi doesn't dare to hold the sword carelessly in her hand. As long as Buggy the Clown makes a slight move, she will kill him. This woman no longer knows who to believe. What if Buggy the Clown has really been acting? Buggy kept begging Smoker for mercy, Master Marine, please trust me. I am just a weak pirate. Trust me, I have no other purpose. Everything on the sky is a lie. He could feel that Colonel Smoker was about to the killing intent overflowing from his body, the name White Hunter was derived from the other party's killing of the East Blue Pirates. Lousy is not satisfied with this answer. Are you going to tell me? Smoker put all his strength into his right foot and stepped on the poor clown buggy into the floor tiles. He was immediately disfigured and bleeding, and even his voice begging for mercy became much weaker. 
The white hunter is about to lose his patience. He will kill Buggy the clown with his own hands before a Kainu admiral comes over. This strong man who controls the wind easily defeated Colonel Smoker with one move. The opponent's purpose was to rescue Luffy. Other pirates were not in his consideration range. Instead, he helped the clown Buggy a lot. The mysterious strong man personally sent the Luffy pirates out to sea. Marine Smoker couldn't defeat them, so he resorted to arresting other pirates in Logue Town. He then used the White Blast to trap the clown pirates who were trying to escape. This was considered a success. Merit at the expense of crime is worthy of the citizens of Logue Town. Smoker is one of the future Marine Admirals. He focused on this incident in his later memoirs. Capturing Buggy the Clown and helping him enter the underwater prison was the stupidest thing he did in his life. He spent the rest of his life alive, in pain. To be honest, the future Smoker Admiral does not need to feel so guilty. Buggy will not enter the underwater prison in his hands, but will also enter the underwater prison through other marines, which will not stop him from looking for bullet. After Buggy completed his plan and got the devil fruit as he wished, he fully demonstrated his strength and killed many marines in the future. In terms of record, the other sea emperors combined did not have as many as Buggy alone. As a result, Smoker would be. It was spent in alcoholism. In the battle where Buggy showed his strength, he defeated 20 marine warships alone, resulting in 3,000 marine elites being buried in the sea. Marine related to Smoker, the future Tashigi Rear Admiral was his deputy for many years, the future Hina Vice Admiral was his friend for many years, the Ghost Spider Vice Admiral and the Fire Mountain Vice Admiral, as well as some Marine soldiers from East Blue, all died in in this hugely disparate battle, if Smoker, who was Marine Admiral, had been there at the time, he might have been able to save many people. This battle was a heavy blow to Marine, because the battle took place on the Iron Island, and was later called the Iron-Blooded Battle by Marine. The final scene of the battle was shown in the sky. The Marine warships were in pieces on the beach. Not a single warship was intact. The nearby sea area was dyed blood red. There were a large number of corpse fragments floating on the sea. The clothes they were wearing were all damaged. It's a Marine uniform. It's pretty good to be able to leave half of the body of the marine. Most of them are badly damaged human bodies. Hundreds of heads with open eyes are floating together in the sea, mixed with a large number of broken limbs. The Iron Island has become the slaughter of the marine, field. The people in the pirate world have little information, and most of them can only learn about external news through newspapers. They can only read what the world government wants them to read. After the rise of Morgans, the king of the underground world, his newspaper revealed a mysterious corner of the world. The birdman never touched on the bloody scenes, and he often helped Marine whitewash the piece. For example, the Lion Fruit ability user Golden Lion Shiki attacked Marine's headquarters, Marine Ford. Marine suffered a lot of casualties from top to bottom. In the end, he reported good news but not bad news, saying that Garp and Sengoku teamed up to imprison the legendary pirate in the underwater prison, without mentioning it in the newspaper. Marine casualty figures. To sum up, the people of this world live in an information cocoon. The suffering caused by the great pirate era is rarely reported. It is a kind of protection for civilians. But the cruel scene on the sky today has completely torn apart the false peace maintained by the world government. Adults with mature minds couldn't bear this kind of bloody scene. They vomited everything they could on the spot. Children were so frightened that they fainted. It became a permanent nightmare in everyone's heart, leaving lasting impressions of mental trauma. The sky screen continues to change, switching from a long perspective to the Iron Island battle scene. A tall man over 4 meters tall is fighting a group of marines wearing justice. This pirate has a more colorful clown painted on his face. The makeup, coupled with the obvious feature of a red nose, made everyone realize that the person being attacked was none other than Buggy the Clown. You world government went back on your word and abolished the Shichibukai system. You should know the results today. I killed so many marines. Why don't you cry? Buggy laughed wildly on the spot. The evil temperament that showed in his bones was so weak. When people see it, their legs will become weak and they will lose their ability to resist. The Ghost Spider Vice Admiral lost both arms and continued to manipulate his hair to wield dozens of swords. Armament hockey was attached to the swords. Each sword slashed at Buggy the Clown, I will make you pay for your life. 
Huo Shaoshan Vice Admiral is a swordsman, and Tashigi Rear Admiral is also a swordsman. The slashes released by the man and the woman are one after another, taking lives. Hina, the Vice Admiral Cage Cage Fruit user, spreads out two black fences with her hands and keeps stretching, with armament hockey wrapped around them. As long as she can control Buggy the clown's body, the opponent will not be able to use the ability to fall apart. Hina very angry, Hina wants your life. Torn apart. With Buggy the clown as the center of the circle, whether it's the swordsman's slash, the hair created by the return of life, or the black fence created by the fruit user, a powerful invisible force tears apart anything that tries to get close, even under your feet. Several bottomless ravines have been cut out of the islands. You are too weak. Smoker Admiral comes here in person, so I can take it seriously. Buggy, the clown in the canopy, definitely already has the strength of a marine admiral, and now he's just playing around with the marines. The clown buggy has awakened, why has this guy been hiding for so long? The ghost spider vice admiral realized the seriousness of the matter. The advanced hockey could only slightly resist the clown buggy's decomposition ability, but when hockey was finally used up. You marines have found the right way with admiral. Other marines are superstitious about garbage like hockey. Everything is false in front of the powerful devil fruit. I can even decompose the hockey in your body. As soon as he finished speaking, the clown buggy pointed his finger at the fire mountain. Vice Admiral said, one yuan decomposition. Fire mountain observation hockey caught the danger coming, and instantly wrapped his body around the high level armament hockey. This move once brought him a lot of security, but today he died of self-confidence. Vice Admiral, who owes Shaoshan, your body. This Marine Vice Admiral, who had participated in Buster Call many times, did not even leave a word in the last moments of his life. The black body of the Vice Admiral in Huo Shaoshan was cut into more than a dozen pieces together with his beloved sword, and he was armed with hockey. Flesh, blood, and bones were all torn apart and destroyed. Ah, Buggy the Clown, you beast, I want to avenge Huo Shaoshan and return my life. Vice Admiral, the Marine Hawk Ghost Spider, once again used his hair to use his life to return. When the sword was broken, his hair turned into one another black fist. The black fist wrapped in the color of the weapon hit the clown buggy like raindrops. But before the fist could get close to the pirate's body, the fist was split by the power of the fruit. The ghost spider could only continue to use life return and create more with its hair. Fist, this old guy is about to get bald by himself. Bored, Buggy raised his foot and kicked the ghost spider. Iron body steel, advanced armament hockey plus marine six styles, but he still couldn't withstand this move, the ghost spider vice admiral flew out like a cannonball. Vice admiral, the ghost spider, was unlucky enough to land in a bad spot. He was pierced through the stomach by the flagpole of the marine warship. He was hung in the air and unable to move. A large amount of blood flowed down the pole. His internal organs were severely damaged, but even so, he was not there yet. Death. I can still fight. My life. Buggy. Tashigi Hina doesn't want to lie to you. Hina is going to die here today. Hina Vice Admiral, wearing a red suit and a cloak of justice, showed a smile of a royal sister in front of death. Marine, this flower is really beautiful. Sister Hina, I will accompany you today, sister. Tashigi Rear Admiral raised his sharp knife. Hina, do you want to awaken the fruit? As long as you kill the female marine next to you, you can become my subordinate. You dream, marine will never succumb to pirates. In the end, the two female marines rushed towards the clown buggy with their determination to die, each using their full strength. It's a pity that I didn't find the fun, binary decomposition. The camera zoomed out again, and the entire Iron Island was cut into several small islands in a terrifying moment in front of the power of decomposition. Most of the land sank into the sea in the dust. No one could stop Buggy the Clown. The scene in the sky changed from daytime to evening, and a man with smoke all over his body flew from the sky. The current Admiral Smoker used the white smoke accelerator with all his strength to rush forward, and the speed was far faster than the fastest warship in the Marine Corps. Wearing the cloak of justice, Admiral landed on the Iron Island, which had shrunk by a large circle. As soon as he landed on the island, he saw the gift left by Buggy the Clown. Rear Admiral Tashigi and Vice Admiral Hina, the heads of the two women are placed together. Their eyes are open with blood and tears. 
There are also traces of the clown buggy next to them. It seems that they used the arms of the two female marines as pens. The blood of the two female marines was used as ink, and they left a message to Admiral, Thank you Mr. Smoker for wishing me to enter the underwater prison that day. I love your clown buggy, and he also drew a happy clown avatar. Buggy, I want you to die, ah. I want to kill you. Admiral Smoker knelt in front of his best friend, tears falling from the face of this strong man. His expression of pain and grief was tragically filmed with the sky on his face, allowing people all over the world to feel this man's despair. This curtain ends with an iron-blooded battle. World government does not need the system of seven warlords of the sea, and Marine is a staunch supporter. The Seraf project led by Vegapunk is developed. The entire world will be more turbulent in the future. It will be called the Dark Ages by future generations. The character Buggy the Clown the timeline is relatively long, and he will participate in many major events in the future. This chapter will temporarily analyze it here. The second character will be reviewed one month later. Spoiler alert, this person is a zone fruit capable person, who will be called the god of zone by future generations. The tragic scenes around the world attracted more attention, and suddenly the sky was cut off here, making everyone feel particularly uncomfortable. People in the pirate world also experienced the malice of a cut-off dog. The future image of Buggy the Clown is firmly imprinted in everyone's mind. He is tall and strong with a personality that makes fun of all living beings. Killing Marine is like killing a chicken. In addition, he pretends to be weak in the early stage and stops acting in the later stage. This drama adds to the added charm of this character. The charm of pirates. Ordinary people secretly wiped away their tears, worried about the hard days ahead, but the heinous and weak pirates were deeply impressed by Lord Buggy's strength displayed in the sky. He killed Marine Vice Admiral effortlessly, so they were afraid of Marine Admiral. It would be a great honor to be on board the Clown Pirates. They have to wait for Buggy the Clown on the Grand Line. With this kind of monster backing him, who can be afraid of Marine? The Marine Admiral is not worthy enough to carry Mr. Buggy's shoes. The sky screen ended completely, and the chat room mode returned again. The pirates and marines, who had been holding back for so long, finally opened up and started a heated discussion around Buggy the Clown. Hina, I will actually become Vice Admiral in the future, but it's a pity that I will die so miserably that only my head will be left. Tashigi, Buggy the Clown is now held captive by me with a sea stone. What should I do? Smoker, Deputy, don't reveal marine secrets. Ghost Spider, Hockey, did I take the wrong path? I'm going to the headquarters to apply for a devil fruit. Huo Shaoshan, Ghost Spider, let's report together. If we don't have fruit power in the future, Hockey alone can't suppress these pirates. Alberta, Captain Buggy is so awesome. Kamagi, we will always follow Captain Buggy. Luffy, Buggy the Clown is so powerful. I also want to awaken the fruit and beat him away again. Nami, Luffy, don't talk nonsense. Lord Buggy, we were wrong. We will return your treasure. Please forgive us for our offense. Lu Chi, can such a fool defeat me? Crocodile, this idiot can defeat me. Enel, what is hockey? Can anyone explain this to me? Zoro, please ask. Sanji, please ask. After asking for a long time, no one paid attention to these guys. It was a waste of time for these rookies to chat with them. The real bosses were all discussing Buggy in the future. Da Flamingo. In the future, the Shichibukai system has been abolished, and these marines are going to attack the previous Shichibukai Buggy. I can understand it this way. Marines want to kill us all. Mahawk. I guess the Seraf project is related to Shichibukai. Charlotte Linlin. Such a powerful man, would Buggy the Clown be interested in having a child with me? Kaido. Buggy looks down on hockey he should try hockey on me. Zephyr, Smoker, this brat, will actually become an admiral in the future. I really didn't expect that. Akainu, I like his way of doing things in East Blue very much. Putting Smoker in East Blue is too unqualified. Charlotte Katakori, Buggy's fruit awakening ability is so strong, I really want to know what the trick is to release the devil fruit. Da Flamingo, I also want to know this. A group of Grandmaster Hockey users look down on Devil Fruit. The future will be dominated by Demon Fruit Power. Garp. I really want you pirates to have a taste of my fist. 
Kazaru. Buggy, it's really scary. The chat room is constantly updating content. The pirate world has been spoiled for the false future. Undercurrents are surging and all parties are taking action. The Kaido pirates are urging Doflamingo to step up the supply of artificial devil fruit. Lin Lin, the big mom pirates, is clamoring for it. Eat the cake and send people to East Blue to contact the buggy pirates. At this time, the red hair pirates have arrived at the Whitebeard Pirates station and want Fire Fist Ace to come back. Marine will suffer heavy losses in the future, and now it has seriously damaged the morale of General Marine. The future Smoker Admiral will be tortured like this. They are a bunch of unscrupulous little shrimps, and they are even more pessimistic about Marine's future. There will be another four Emperor's force in the future, and the pressure it will bring to Marine can be imagined. Marine 6 Styles Iron Body is even disliked by many people. Vice Admiral's Iron Body can't even withstand a kick. This is a bad move. Don't even learn. In Logue Town, the buggy pirates were thrown into the branch prison, and no one bothered them to eat and drink. No one in East Blue Marine dared to bet. If Buggy the Clown stopped playing, he would go on a killing spree here. Smoker is still just a colonel at the moment. Without the strength of the Admiral in the sky, he will never be able to stop this monster. He can only wait for the arrival of a Kainu Admiral to make a decision. Fuguang Island, the mastermind behind all this. Haha, ha, they are really fooled. Li Wei looked at the fooled value in his eyes rising steadily, with no intention of stopping. It's good to be a fun person. It's no wonder that Li Wei has been conceiving this script for so long. Even the makeup on the clown's face is based on the clown in Batman in the previous world, grafting his chaotic and evil image onto the clown buggy in one piece. Simply the most brilliant idea. I feel sorry for Buggy for a second. Li Wei can capture who has the cheat value flowing out from him. Commoners without strength can only add 0.1 points at a time. Fortunately, the stronger the person, the more cheat value they provide. The red-haired Shanks alone provides 10,000 cheat points, or it is more profitable to deceive these powerful people. This time, he made more than 1 billion in deceived points. With so many points, Li Wei will not be a slut, and he still has to spend them. First, he spent points to buy a beginner conqueror's hockey, bought a basic swordsmanship, and then spent 100 million to buy a supreme sharp sword. Li Wei didn't think about eating devil fruit for now. As a swordsman in East Blue, he can walk sideways without any opponent, as long as he doesn't touch just go to Golden Lion Shiki. I also found a good thing in the store, the soul top machine, a thing that can turn lies into reality. Li Wei boasted about Buggy the Clown so well, but the other party is just a paper tiger that can be broken with just one poke. If the message on the sky screen after being proven false, how can you still lie to others in the future? 100 million, just 100 million, I'll change it. He wanted to use this thing to help Buggy when necessary, but he couldn't let this guy die. Soul Top Machine, your soul can enter Buggy's body and control him, but the sky screen blows him too hard, completely simulating the kind of strength comparable to the four emperors, you have to pay a lot of cheating. Lies cannot be exposed, I will earn more in the future if my efforts are worth it. Later, Li Wei bought a World Observer and spent another 100 million on it. This prop can monitor a person regardless of distance and blind spots. He gave it to Arturia and asked her to monitor Buggy at all times. Once the other person's life is in danger, it's time for him to show up. Going Mary carries the Straw Hat crew. Under the guidance of the navigator Nami, they finally arrive at Logue Town, the final stop of East Blue. What are these ships doing? Have any treasures been found nearby? Even Luffy, a very nervous guy, noticed the weirdness of the Logue Town port. Ships kept sailing out of the port, and a group of townspeople dressed up looked like they were waving money and looking for ships. There were only ships sailing out but no ships coming in. It feels like something is not right. Let's leave as soon as we have supplies here. Nami, an experienced person, felt that Logue Town was not a good place to stay for a long time. Sanji and Usopp are going to buy ingredients and fresh water. Luffy and I are going to the town to buy some clothes. Zoro, you can watch the ship yourself. Got it Nami-chan, Sanji said with love in his eyes. Don't be stupid. Let's go quickly. I don't want to run into Marine. Usopp didn't want to get into trouble, especially the white hunter smoker. 
Nami followed Luffy behind her to give the little thieving cat some sense of security. Ever since she landed in Logue Town, this woman had been restless and always felt like something was going to happen. The other friends had all left, and Zoro was sitting on the sheep's head in boredom. He didn't understand why he was left to look after the ship by himself. He could complete such a small thing as purchasing alone, and he didn't feel like a road idiot at all. Hey, that pirate, do you want to buy weapons? That's your guy with the turban, a little old man in the port of Logue Town accosted Zoro. Zoro, who was looking at the boat, wanted to ignore him, but the next sentence of the other party aroused his interest, you are a swordsman, do you still need a sword? I have many good swords here, and I will sell them to you if you pay the right price. The world line still ends here, and Zoro still meets the owner of the weapons store, Imoto Mitsuya. Because Smoker is arresting pirates in Logue Town, the original weapons store business is difficult to do, but recently he can't even keep the store. Zoro glanced around, and there were people fleeing nearby. There were no other pirates, so he didn't have to worry about the safety of the melee. He jumped off the ship and walked to the weapons store. Ipponmatsu also packed up all his belongings before leaving. He could bring bring everything on board. Finally I met a customer. I have a lot of good knives here. Let's see which one you like. Among the messy knives, Zoro found the third generation Kidetsu as fate would have it. Boss, this is a good knife, I want it. Ipponmatsu also has a conscience as a weapons dealer, the sort of third generation Kidetsu is a demon sword. Swordsmen of every generation have been bitten by the master. I still recommend you to change it. This demon sword is harmful to people. Qian has always been placed in the corner of the weapon shop, and he didn't expect to be picked today. Tashigi, who maintains order at the port of Logue Town, saw a group of pirates entering the port from a distance. Seeing that they were not causing any trouble, she ignored them. When she heard the name third generation Kidetsu, the female marine suddenly became interested. She has the habit of collecting famous swords, and she doesn't want to let go of them even if they are demon swords. Pirates, if you dare to come to Logue Town without running away, aren't you afraid of death? Marine, Zoro had seen Tashigi in the sky, and when they met in real life, he still felt that this woman looked very much like Kuina. As soon as he saw this marine, he immediately got a headache. If it were normal, he would turn around and run away. But as a three-sword swordsman, Zoro only has one sword, Wado Aikimanji. The other two ordinary swords were chopped into pieces by the powerful man in the competition with the great swordsman Hawkeye. During the battle, he even borrowed someone else's saber to defeat Minibus. This third generation Kidetsu Zoro is about to be ordered. Let's see if I can be its master. Let it choose for itself. The man opened his arms and threw third generation Kidetsu into the air. If he was not careful, the sharp demon sword would cut off a swordsman's arm. Zoro remained calm but the other two were frightened. Third generation Kidetsu dodged Zoro's arm, and the blade of the knife plunged into the ground, it's such a good knife, he chose me. You are really crazy. Tashigi was still frightened by the scene just now. He also had a natural affinity for the swordsman Ipponmatsu. He was moved by Zoro's courage to test the sword. He turned around and took out the tightly wrapped treasure from behind. The sword was given to the hero. The man in front of him was worthy of his trust. Young man, this is the treasure of our store, Shui Zhou. If you leave it here, it will just eat dust. You can take it with you to explore the Grand Line. Yukizai, who ranks among the top 50 swordsmen. It's actually in the boss's hand. Tashigi really wanted to catch this pirate now so that both knives would belong to her. Zoro was very happy to get two very good knives at once, and he was grateful to the weapon shop owner in his heart. My name is Zoro, the second in command of the Straw Hat Pirates, and I will not disgrace these two good knives. Straw Hat Pirates. Wait, Straw Hat Pirates picture. Isn't this the boy in the sky who inherits the will of the Pirate King? I actually met Luffy's crew here. It was just like the future revealed by the Sky Curtain. These pirates really came to Logue Town. No wonder this pirate flag looked familiar to Tashigi. The Straw Hat pirate flag appeared many times in the sky, and she recognized it only after the other party announced his home. The female marine drew out her saber and shouted, the pirates put down their weapons and surrendered. We must not let the Straw Hat crew go to sea. Become stronger. 
Seeing that the situation was not good, Ipponmatsuya immediately packed up his stall and prepared to run away. Brother, my name is Ipponmatsuya. I look forward to your future performance. Be careful, Marine. Seeing that the weapon store owner didn't even want money, Zoro watched his benefactor leave the scene. He didn't want to affect the other party in the next battle. Just now, Tashigi called out more than a dozen marine soldiers in order to protect the most important thing. Going merry, the swordsmen had to fight. Zoro bit Wado Aikimanji, holding Yukashiro and third generation Kidetsu in each hand. He wanted to deal with the marine in front of him as quickly as possible, and not let marine's gun damage the hull, the secret of the three-tongue style, tornado. The secret of three sword styles, three thousand worlds. When his friends returned, a large number of marines had fallen in front of Zoro, including Tashigi, the female marine, but they were not injured. Nami dragged the reluctant Luffy behind him, not giving the green algae head a chance to explain, everyone, get on the boat quickly. The marine admiral is coming. If we don't leave, we won't have a chance. Behind him were Usopp and Sanji, one holding several buckets of fresh water and the other carrying a large amount of ingredients. The two were panting from exhaustion as they ran all the way. When the little thieving cat was shopping for clothes in the town, the clothing stores were all selling at a huge discount, and every one of them was as if they were free. Nami bought a lot of clothes for everyone, and there was a lot of money left over from the planned budget. She learned from the shopkeeper that Marine Admiral was coming to Logue Town, and Buggy the Clown would also appear here. There would definitely be a battle on this island when the two monsters fought, and mortals would suffer. Those who didn't want to die were leaving Logue Town. I wanted to see the execution platform, but Nami-chan didn't let me go and beat me up. It was so harsh. Luffy, who is a rubber man, had his mouth swollen into a sausage mouth after being beaten. He wanted to be the Pirate King and not go to the place where the previous Pirate King was executed. Luffy always felt that something was missing in his heart. He had no idea about Marine Admiral. This young man did not know the seriousness of the matter. Sanji Zoro, you two put down the anchor, you sop you take the helm, we have to get out of this hellish place as soon as possible. Nami, the little cat thief, has stolen Marine's treasure, stolen Pirate's treasure, and stolen the King's treasure. It is not easy to save 100 million belly. She is well informed and knows that Marine Admiral is destroying forces simply a humanoid natural disaster. The navigator holds the latest nautical chart. To enter the Grand Line, upside down mountain is the only way to pass. Nami must be fully prepared for the next challenge. Captain Luffy sat on the sheep's head and looked at the sea ahead. The warships flying the Marine flag gradually came into his sight. There is a marine on the sea, and the marine is coming. Nami picked up the binoculars and looked in the direction Luffy was pointing. There was more than one marine warship heading towards the Logue Town port. There are three, no, at least five or more, my god. Not only the Straw Hat crew saw the appearance of the warship, but other people in the Logue Town port also saw it. At this time, they can't care about so much. As long as they can squeeze into other people's ships, as long as they leave this ghost place, they can pay any price. There were also a few unlucky ones who were pushed into the sea by the people behind them. In short, the panic completely ignited the place. The marines on the shore struggled to maintain order and prevent unnecessary stampedes. These marine reinforcements from the headquarters are headed by Marine Admiral Sakazuki, and Vice Admiral Ghost Spider is responsible for holding the line. This time they want to capture the clown buggy personally. Akainu, who believes in absolute justice, does not fully believe the information on the canopy. He can only really fight the enemy and see the actual situation. The marine soldiers on the observation deck reported to the officers below, a pirate ship sailed out of the port mixed with civilian ships. The pirate flag is the Straw Hat Pirates. Straw Hat Luffy has a bounty of 30 million baileys. Coupled with the future record in the sky, he can defeat Shichibukai and defeat CP9. This kind of potential pirate is highly valued. It is a big trouble for him to inherit the legacy of One Piece. Sakazuki believes in absolute justice. He knows that Strawberry Luffy is the grandson of Vice Admiral Garb. This marine hero is not in East Blue, so he can't be blamed. The scourge must be eradicated as soon as possible. Pull the warship closer to sink the Straw Hat pirates and keep them in East Blue forever. 
A Kainu admiral, but Luffy is, Ghost Spider was interrupted before he finished speaking. I know he is someone's grandson. Is he a celestial dragon's? As long as the ship flies the pirate flag, it is a pirate who deserves to be killed. Marine does not need a reason to kill pirates. Ghost Spider knew that a Kainu admiral was more extreme, but he didn't expect that he would show no mercy. He was with the right person. He also believed in absolute justice. As long as the pirate killed, he deserved it. The Marine warship sailed towards the Straw Hat crew. Nami's face turned pale when he saw this result. It's Marine Admiral Akainu who actually came to East Blue. It's over, it's over, I don't want to die yet. Really Admiral, Akainu is the killer again. The timid Usopp was so frightened that his legs became weak and he collapsed on the spot. It's too late to collect the pirate flag now. Marine warships have completely blocked the entrance to the sea. If you want to leave here, you need to run into a group of Marine warships. This is no different than seeking death. The sky suddenly became gloomy, showing the appearance of lightning and thunder, and the sea breeze stirred up waves. The marines lamented that the weather at sea can change at any time. Only a Kainu admiral understood what was going on. It was exactly what was said in the canopy. Straw Hat Luffy was actually escorted by a master behind him. This guy who played with wind was still a former marine. The gunner takes aim and prepares for bombardment, target the Straw Hat pirates, fire. Boom. Boom, boom. All the warships immediately roared with cannons and raised bursts of white smoke. Dozens of shells were fired at Going Merry, without any regard for the fact that there were civilian ships next to the target. Luffy jumped into the air and inhaled with his mouth wide open. His rubber body immediately expanded rapidly, covering the entire sunshine melee in an instant, becoming a big rubber ball. Most of the cannonballs hit Luffy, but he was a rubber man and was naturally immune to blunt force damage, so he returned the cannonballs to their original owners and bounced them back. As expected, he is a rubber man. You are not afraid of cannonballs. Are you afraid of magma? Sakazuki jumped into the air and poured a large amount of magma into his hands, Meteor Volcano. One after another, huge lava fists were fired at Straw Hat Luffy and his gang. Each of these blows could destroy a warship not to mention the small size of the melee. The ship was destroyed and people were killed right before their eyes. To deal such a heavy blow to a junior, his dream cannot stop here. A man in a dark green coat stands in the air, with an invisible storm surrounding him, the bad wind. A storm arose on the sea and the lava fist collided, changing the direction of meteor volcano's attack. A large amount of magma fell into the sea and steamed up, and the mysterious protector finally took action. What the sky said is right again. Sure enough, there is a strong person helping us to go to sea. Unfortunately, we don't know who this person is. Nami looked at the other party with a telescope, but the strong person who took action covered his face and could not see the appearance of the savior. Usopp turned the helm and rushed over. Didn't you see that the warship on the opposite side was blown away? This is our opportunity. The violent storm tore apart the surrounding net of the marine warship, leaving a way out in the middle. In addition, the storm was still blowing wind behind going merry, which more than doubled the speed of the entire boat. It's so scary. I almost thought I was going to die. Let's rush together. Luffy laughed heartily while standing on the sheep's head, not realizing who saved him. I won't let them pass easily, great eruption. A huge amount of lava burst out from Admiral Akainu's hands like a volcanic eruption. The lava that covered the sky and the sun was going to completely kill the Straw Hat crew. Sakazuki, have I ever offended you before, Eye of the Storm? A powerful blue storm was generated around the melee. It was very safe at the center of the storm. This storm protected the ship from being damaged by the lava, and the lava could not break through this wind wall. Under the acceleration of the hurricane, going merry instantly passed the marine warship from the front. By the time Akainu took action again, the Straw Hat cruise ship had already run a certain distance. This strong wind made it difficult for the warship to move forward. If it wanted to catch up with the opponent, the warship had to turn around and chase. Long, I didn't expect to let your son run away. He won't be so lucky next time. Marine Admiral is not afraid of the leader of the Revolutionary Army. Akainu did not continue the pursuit to save energy. If he and the dragon were wasted here, the clown buggy might run away. At the moment, he is a greater threat than Luffy. 
After the straw hat cruise ship moved away, the senior Logue town returned to its original calm state, which made Marine on the warship breathe a sigh of relief. If the storm just now had been stronger, most of the warships might have been capsized. Logue town Marine branch jail. The clown pirates were imprisoned for a day. There were still some villains in this prison who had no reward orders. In short, they were all as weak as noobs and did not deserve the treatment to be imprisoned to the prison. Mochi touched the head of Li Ji's lion next to him and comforted his frightened fighting partner again. The lion was so frightened by marine smoker that it hid in the corner and trembled since it came in. It didn't look like a beast at all. I became cautious when eating. Captain, when are we going to go out? This child is almost at his limit. Didn't you find a problem? Why are there fewer and fewer soldiers patrolling the prison? It's strange. The unicycle under Buggy's feet was confiscated, so he could only play with a few people in boredom. I'm hungry, Marine, I want a big meal. Alberta ate the slippery fruit and became thinner and more beautiful, but there was no change in her strength and food intake. She felt uncomfortable without eating several meals a day. The food intake of one person can hold up to three adult men. Captain, don't pretend that there are no outsiders here. We are all your most loyal subordinates. Please lead us. Even if we go to the underwater prison, we will stay together. The highly sought after captain of the pirate group can only lean against the wall and cannot move at this time. The clown buggy has a sea stone collar around his neck, and his hands and feet are fixed in place by sea stone handcuffs. Although these sea stones on buggy are not considered to be high purity sea stone, he has been tortured so much that he is completely weak. His whole body is in a weak state, and it is difficult to even move a finger. Don't panic, men. I will lead you out of the prison. This thing can't do anything to me. At this time, he still wanted to make himself fat, so as not to let the crew see his weakness. When Buggy the Clown wants to say who he hates the most right now, his first choice is the red-haired Shanks, who made him eat devil fruit and become a landlubber. The second one is the man behind the sky. These two groups have completely ruined his life. He knew very well how powerful he was. He couldn't even do conqueror's hockey, so he could only bully the little pirates in East Blue. When he got to Grand Line, it was estimated that any demon fruit power would be able to blast him without any effort. Originally, if you want to find the treasure in a low-key way, it will become a luxury to be blown away by the sky. Buggy is also watching for opportunities. He doesn't want to be imprisoned in Impel Down, which is a hell for pirates. Except for the big pirate golden lion Shiki who broke off his legs and escaped, no other pirate has ever succeeded. There really is no marine left in the prison. Here's our chance. Buggy the clown reluctantly raised his right hand and groped for it in his hair. He finally pulled out a piece of wire and threw it to Mochi, who was the best at opening locks. As expected of a captain, he can actually hide something in. Mochi caught the wire and began to try to pry open the prison door in front of him. Maybe the prison was in a state of disrepair. It took Mochi less than five minutes to pry open the prison door. Haha, it's so simple. I really admire myself. Seeing that someone had successfully picked the lock, other prisons began to shout, Brother, help me, and I will join your pirate group. I was a navigator. Please help me get on the ship. Please. Don't leave me behind, I was the helmsman. Mochi ignored this group of people and first rescued his own members of the clown pirates. The handcuffs of ordinary members were not sea stone and could be unlocked in a short time. However, when it came to the captain in Alberta, his lock picking skills were not as good. Easy to use. Captain, these sea stones are handcuffs that I can't pry open. You need to find the key in Marine's hand. I can't help you. Mochi came to this conclusion after working beside Buggy the Clown for a long time. As expected, you don't need to worry about me. Mochi can go help others unlock the door first. All the criminals in this prison can become my subordinates. Our clown pirate group is going to grow. The more subordinates the better, clown buggy can't he knows how good his subordinates are, as long as he is a great person, he can gain momentum. After receiving the captain's new order, Mochi went to open the doors to other prisons. They were preparing to have a big riot in the prison to let East Blue Marine know how powerful Buggy the Clown was. There are no handy weapons in the prison, so we can only use some mop poles to strengthen our courage. If we really want to face the musket in Marine's hand, 
We need these newcomers to rush forward and let them eat bullets, so that the clown buggy pirates can survive. The animal trainer Mochi was very efficient. It took him about an hour to pry open all the non-seastone handcuffs and prison doors. If his lock-picking skills had eaten wax wax fruit, there would be no one in the world who could not open them. Lock. The prison door was opened from the outside, and they could only leave the prison by prying open the door. At this time, Mochi was lying on the lookout window, looking at the situation of the marine branch outside. Not only was there no marine patrolling outside the prison, there were even more people at sea. Not a single warship was visible. Captain, Marine seems to have run away. He came to an absurd conclusion, but the reality was right in front of him. It is unheard of for Marine to voluntarily abandon his branch base. This is the first time the clown pirates have encountered this strange phenomenon after going to sea for so many years. They are definitely afraid of Lord Buggy, this group of cowardly marines. In the end, this group of pirates who did all kinds of evil can only attribute the credit to Buggy. Lord Buggy in the sky is so powerful that there is no way that East Blue Marine can be his opponent. In the future, Marine Admiral Smoker is just like Colonel Marine and is running away with his tail between his legs. In short, in their hearts, Buggy the Clown is the most powerful pirate. Soon things turned around again. Several Marine warships entered the port, and they came back again. When they heard that Marine was back, everyone was in a mess. They all looked at Buggy the Clown, hoping that this strong man would give some advice. Whether they could escape or not depends on this adult. Buggy, who couldn't exert any effort, tried his best to maintain his usual tone of voice. Seastone had too great a limit on demon fruit power. The former was the natural enemy of the latter. A weakling like him had no ability to resist at all. Don't panic, kids. Marine doesn't know that we have escaped. They come in to give each other a surprise and catch them off guard. I will take action when necessary. He has no ability to take action when necessary. The clown buggy can only open his mouth to drop high. If these people desperately grab the handcuff keys, he will have the power of devil fruit and be able to fight against low-level marines. But the marines who come this time are not small characters. They are elite soldiers of the naval headquarters. Admiral Akainu personally leads the team. This marine who believes in absolute justice will give these garbage scum a little shock. For safety reasons, all marines who did not know hockey were evacuated. However, as the strongest member of the Logue Town Marine branch, Smoker asked his adjutant Tashigi to leave. He still did not believe how powerful the clown buggy was. Your Smoker, would you be interested in being my second in command? Facing the invitation of Marine Admiral Sakazuki, both of them are Logia Demon Fruit Power. They are close to the same in terms of understanding of justice and have more common topics together. Akainu, who believes in absolute justice, has his own little juju in his heart. Supporting the future admiral is more of an investment. This can strengthen the influence of the Hawks in Marine and balance the influence of the other two admirals. Thank you for your invitation. I still have my own way to go. After finishing Buggy the Clown here, I'm going to hunt down Straw Hat Luffy and his gang. I must not let him grow up. Smoker is used to doing his own thing, Otherwise he wouldn't have been sent to a small place like East Blue, and he wouldn't want to have an extra father on his head. I respect your opinion. Sakazuki didn't say much after that. After all, everyone has their own ambitions and he couldn't force it. But Smoker wants to know more, how Marshal Sengoku will arrange for Buggy the Clown, a Kainu Admiral, will the Buggy the Clown pirates be imprisoned and impel down? Don't bother, this is his burial place. Sakazuki didn't know why Buggy went to Impel Down to find Bullet. He killed the opponent in Logue Town to get rid of him once and for all. No matter what kind of conspiracy he had, he would be completely crushed in the face of absolute strength. After the headquarters Marine completely landed in Logue Town, this kind of thing absolutely cannot be hidden, and the outside world has also received the news. Morgans, the president of the World Economic News, received a phone call from the Logue Town resident reporter, and the other party reported Logue Town to him. The latest situation. First didn't expect Marine to take it so seriously and actually send Admiral Akainu. This is definitely big news. Morgans, a birdman who is obsessed with news, is the undisputed king of newspapers in the pirate world. He also wanted to verify the story on the canopy to see if Buggy the Clown is as good as he claims. 
publishing newspapers can no longer satisfy him. To broadcast this battle live, this requires the full cooperation of East Blue's men. If the president does this, Marine and world government will surround us again. I'm not afraid of what you are afraid of. I'm the one who offends people. Let's make a big news this time. Morgan's eyes lit up. As a journalist, he couldn't let go of any opportunity to cause trouble. As expected of the president, let's work overtime tonight. The president is not afraid of his subordinates, let alone his subordinates. This is not his first time doing live streaming. It depends on how many signals Marine can cut off. As long as it is a wealthy island, there will be a screen that can broadcast the live broadcast. Marine sent Admiral to hunt down Buggy the Clown. Soon, with the spread of the newspaper King, it quickly attracted the attention of all the good people. The four sea emperors in the second half of the Grand Line also received this news. Kaido and others also had to watch this live broadcast in person to verify the statement on the sky screen. If it was really a boast, they would not need to pay more attention in the future. Ghost Island, Beast's Pirate Station. It is rare for Kaido to release his son Yamato and let this guy come out to see the world. It is rare for Admiral to take action. Look at the gap between you. I have worked hard to train you for so many years, all for your own good. Humph, sooner or later I will defeat you and escape. Yamato and his father Kaido sat together, both of them staring at the live broadcast screen. Behind them, a group of Beast's Pirates members were also curious about how this battle would turn out. Cake Island, the residence of the Big Mom Pirates. Charlotte Linlin, one of the four emperors, is stuffing delicious cakes into her mouth. She is also paying attention to this battle. If Buggy the Clown is really as powerful as he boasts on the screen, it is definitely a good idea to make him her husband. I don't know what kind of fight Buggy will have with Marine Admiral. I'm really looking forward to it. Katakori is more concerned about the Devil Fruit's liberation mentioned in the sky. He has already passed the step of Devil Fruit's awakening. To protect his family, he must become stronger. At this moment, the other two sea emperors, the red-haired Shanks and the white-beard Edward Newgate, were drinking and chatting together. They had different opinions on the matter of Ace. Although the conversation was not very pleasant, they brought the topic to Buggy the Clown. The atmosphere on the ship I feel much happier. I still remember that kid who wanted to dye my white beard into a red beard. I don't know who gave him the courage at the time. Edward Newgate still remembers this joke, which represents his entire impression of the Joker. Buggy and I haven't seen each other for more than 20 years. I didn't find him when I went back to East Blue. He was deliberately avoiding me. Shanks was very distressed when he mentioned this incident. Since the captain was executed, the two of them have been there. We parted ways in the heavy rain at night, which is a bit of a twist of fate. It just so happens that Guy Morgans is not afraid of death, and he has a live video that you can watch. Phoenix Marco brought a big screen, and the scene of East Blue Logue Town had already appeared on it, and Sakazuki Admiral could be seen. The more exciting this battle is, the more enjoyable the banquet of the two emperors will be. They hope that Buggy can stay in Akainu's hands for a while longer and not lose the reputation of the former Pirate King. Marine Headquarters Marineford, the irritable Marshal Sengoku was criticizing the work of his subordinates, are you all useless? Why don't you cut off the live broadcast signal and find all the camera bugs? This Morgans will really cause trouble. I don't know where this bird man is hiding, and the world government can't find him. His newspaper should have been banned a long time ago. Vice Admiral, the General Staff Officer of Marine, has no good feelings towards this kind of king of the underground dark world. Like Da Flamingo, he is Marine's enemy. Unfortunately, many of these people are dogs raised by the world government. Marine cannot hit hard. Attack them and take them out. Are you going to let Sakazuki kill that guy? Vice Admiral Garp sat next to he, with Senbei stuffed in his mouth. These were the stocks of Marshal Sengoku. He, a big foodie, had already eaten up his salary. The Marquis said he wanted to meet Bullet, but he didn't say the specific purpose. Buggy the Clown must not be allowed to enter the Impel Down. It's just one more Paramisha fruit on the sea. The latecomers will not be able to make waves. Different people eat a devil fruit, and the level of development will be different for each person. The reason why Impel Down imprisoned so many pirates is to delay the emergence of devil fruit at sea, and to use as little demon fruit power as possible. 
Marine fought for some breathing room. But Buggy the Clown is different. After confirmation by the intelligence department, this man is indeed a crew member on Roger's ship, the former Pirate King. Most of the people on this ship have retired and disappeared. Only the red-haired Shanks is active in Marine's field of vision. The sudden appearance of another One Piece crew member has attracted great attention from the world government and Marine. The four emperors of the Grand Line have formed a delicate balance. If there is one more emperor, we don't know what kind of chaos it will be. Morgans, the Birdman, caught Marine off guard. Most of the Marines in Logue Town had evacuated. There really wasn't enough manpower to catch his reporters. If one signal was cut off, there would be another one, like cockroaches. Even Admiral Akainu was criticized by Marshal Sengoku, urging him to cut off the video signal. This was not only his order but also the order of the world government. Because the number of viewers of this live broadcast has exceeded that of any dance party at sea. Anyone who has the ability to receive the video signal has put down what they are doing and watched a Marine Admiral battle against the former One Piece crew. Most people hope that Marine will win. Some pirates want to see Marine deflated. Marshal Sengoku, as long as I kill Buggy the Clown with my own hands during the live broadcast, everything will not be a problem right now. Execution of the former One Piece crew member on the spot during the live broadcast, who is also a friend of the red-haired Shanks, one of the emperors of the sea, can only show the power of Marine and scare those young people. Akainu, I believe in your strength, don't let me down this time. Sakazuki hung up Marshal Marine's call bug. The Logia Lava Lava Fruit gave him absolute confidence. Even if he destroyed the entire Logue town, he would definitely kill Buggy the Clown today. Since he hasn't come out from prison yet, let him take a bath with the lava first. The dog bites the red lotus. Salski's right arm suddenly came to life in the magma state. A flaming dog made of magma rushed towards the Logue Town Marine Branch prison with the absolute will of its owner. If the opponent couldn't even catch this move, it would be the same as the magma. Let's turn to ashes together. The clown buggy pirate saw a scene of despair in the prison. The lava with terrifying heat instantly tilted against the prison wall, but the hard stones outside could only support the magma for a few seconds. The magma is flowing in. Oh my god, I don't want to die yet. My legs, my legs are gone. The lava rushed into the prison, allowing the pirate at the front to feel the passion from Marine Admiral. Even Zone Devil Fruit is afraid of lava, and a group of low-level pirates are helpless. They are crowded and piled in the deepest part of the prison. But what makes them even more desperate is that the lava seems to be endless and non-stop. Seeping from the ceiling. The members of the clown pirates crowded around Buggy and burst into tears. Captain Buggy, please stop playing around, we are all going to die if you don't take action. Alberta was handcuffed by the sea stone, and the woman was too weak to move. She was a little doubtful about life here. If she had not formed an alliance with Buggy at that time, would the ending be like this today? At this point, Buggy the clown can no longer pretend. He didn't expect that his dream of finding a big treasure would end here today. He has not yet taken revenge on Shanks. I'm so unlucky. What grudge do I have against you, Tianmu? You are playing with me like this. Amidst the cries and despair, the hot magma completely drowned everything. This was exactly what all marines saw. As expected, Admiral knew it was there as soon as he took action. This terrifying power was like a natural disaster. Smoker lit a cigar, and the marine colonel took a deep puff. As expected, garbage is garbage, and all pirates deserve to die. For Admiral's destruction of the Marine Branch Prison, the world government will be responsible for reimbursement. Anyway, it will come out of the Marine budget, and a new prison can be built in Logue Town before leaving. It is simply the best of both worlds. Sakazuki stopped the magma supply. This strict Admiral would not open the champagne at half time. Observation Hockey searched for any fish that had slipped through the net, even the underground of the branch. Akainu's expression suddenly became solemn and he loudly ordered, all marines defend and welcome the impact. I saw a cutting sound coming from the prison that had just been flooded by magma. Not only the walls and the ground, but also the magma were being torn apart. A man's voice came from inside, Marshal Sengoku really gave me face, and he actually sent me if you want marine admiral to kill me, am I really worth that much? A powerful conqueror's hockey surged up from directly in front, 
blowing away all the clouds in the sky, cracking the walls of the marine building wherever it went, and blowing away the dust and rolling up waves in the sea. Although some marines who had just learned hockey could resist the instant kill effect of conqueror's hockey, they were severely shocked mentally and physically. Some unlucky ones were even pushed into the sea. Buggy the clown actually had such a powerful conqueror's hockey. The opponent could he has been holding back until now, and he is truly a formidable enemy. Although Marine Colonel Smoker doesn't know how to double hockey at this time, the advantage is that he is Logia Demon Fruit Power and was not knocked unconscious by the clown's conqueror's hockey. He has put away his contemptuous expression, how is this possible? I clearly captured it myself. He. The clown pirates officially debuted. A tall man with a red nose stood at the front of the team like a god, followed by a group of men with tears in their eyes. Captain Buggy was indeed invincible. Can't you marine just follow the script and send me to impel down? Hello, I'm okay, everyone. You always want to ruin my plans. Buggy the clown has a smile on his face, but his eyes are filled with murderous intent, and another soul in his body has completely integrated into the character. The sharp-eyed smoker discovered something, he still has Seastone on his body, so why can he still use the Devil Fruit ability? Seastone and Seawater are the natural enemies of Demon Fruit power. After contact, Devil Fruit's ability will be lost. The second situation has never happened, but the power of splitting just now definitely comes from Devil Fruit, and the clown buggy has become an exception. Future Mr. Admiral, don't be surprised. Seastone and Seawater have no effect on me. If you don't believe me, just look at it. Buggy grabbed the sea stone shackles around his neck with one hand. The sea stone, which had never been destroyed by anyone before, instantly shattered into a pile of slag in his hands. The handcuffs and shackles also received the same treatment. Sea stone's undefeated myth was broken today. How could a demon from this world be afraid of some broken stones in the light sea water? When Sakazuki came as reinforcements from the headquarters, he brought a batch of high purity sea stone handcuffs. It seems that this scene will not be used today. He is not afraid of seawater or sea stone. This is the first time in the entire history that this demon fruit power has appeared. This is your devil fruit liberating ability. Really? Why haven't I heard of this name? Buggy the clown made a puzzled expression, as if he didn't know anything and it was the first time he heard of such a thing. The sky has exposed Buggy the clown's ability. Acting dumb at this time is simply insulting Marine's IQ. The liberation of Devil Fruit not only provides another avenue for all Demon Fruit power, but also gives everyone unlimited potential in the future. Since you don't want to talk about it, I'll help you remember it. Sakazuki hands filled with magma, meteor volcano. Dozens of magma fists rained down from the sky. This horrific natural disaster scene shocked every viewer watching the live broadcast. With such a powerful conqueror's hockey, there are many knowledgeable people in the pirate world. Although in the second half of New World, pirates with conqueror's hockey are like Crucian carp crossing the river. But this statement is actually too exaggerated. People with top conqueror's hockey can be counted on two hands, and Whitebeard Edward Newgate and Red-Haired Shanks are two of them. I didn't expect this kid to actually go this far. The conqueror's hockey that Buggy just exuded is no worse than Yushanks. Whitebeard didn't expect that he would make a mistake one day. Anyone who has hung out with Roger should not underestimate him. His performance also surprised me. He is not afraid of seawater or sea stones demon fruit power. I would never have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Shanks felt that the red-nosed buggy in the live broadcast screen was actually a bit strange to him. After all these years, I have never seen his bohemian side. Most of the Roger pirates don't eat devil fruit. The top experts don't want to find a weakness for themselves. The red-haired Shanks also inherited this idea. There are very few demon fruit powers on his ship. But now someone tells you that eating devil fruit has no side effects. Even a strong man like Shanks is a little tempted. Find a devil fruit that suits him to increase his strength. The effect of 1 plus 1 is greater than 2. Next time I have the chance to invite him on board for a drink, I wonder if this kid would be willing to be my son, haha. Ha. Shanks couldn't help but roll his eyes when he heard Whitebeard's words. The old guy really dared to think that not everyone lacked fatherly love like Roger's son, maybe because he drank too much. The battle between Buggy the Clown and Admiral Akainu continues. 
Master Buggy, you have become so tall. Your whole demeanor has changed. It's so powerful, even magma can't do anything to you. Alberta is still a little arrogant. Just now the clown buggy helped her crush the sea stone handcuffs on her hands and said, Captain Buggy, if you come out later, the magma will soak my skin. At this moment, Buggy's height has reached 4.2 meters. The original clothes were too small and were directly stretched. Not only did it not affect his image, but it also revealed his strong muscles. Even the smile and makeup on his face changed, and he became closer. An image of the future in the canopy. The main reason is that you are such useless people. If I don't come out to help, everyone will die in that prison. Magma punch flew down from the air, Buggy raised his right hand in the air, and activated the devil fruit ability in his body, split web. An invisible invisible net hangs over the heads of the buggy pirates. When the magma fist generated by meteor volcano falls, the magma that exceeds thousands of degrees is torn into pieces, splitting and destroying from microscopic atomic planes, and becomes harmless smoke dispersed into the air. Sakazuki watched the whole process, and he ordered the marine warship to follow the original plan, gunners prepare, all fire. Hundreds of cannons fired at marine at the same time. The cannons roared and bombs were fired one after another in the direction of the clown pirates. Not every shot could hit the target, but as long as it could consume Buggy's physical strength, these cannonballs are valuable. At the moment, the clown pirates, except Captain Buggy, have nothing to worry about. They simply cannot withstand the artillery bombardment of multiple marine warships, and in the end they still need the protection of their captain. If a Kainu admiral destroys the marine branch like this, Marshal Sengoku will be unhappy afterwards. The first few shells hit farther, but after correcting the range later, they were able to hit Buggy the Clown. These marine gunners learned mathematics very well, and the basic education of marines is still much better than that of pirates. Diversity. Hundreds of artillery shells flying together were cut into countless small points in midair. No explosion occurred during the process, and they turned into debris and fell to the ground. Boom boom boom. A new round of bombardment came again, and Buggy performed another multi-dimensional split. This kind of war of attrition is not an option. Who knows how many shells this magma dog brought over, and was unilaterally bombarded by Marine in Teidu. The face of a pirate. I don't know how much a Marine warship costs. Buggy, the clown, disappeared in front of Marine's eyes in the blink of an eye. His speed was so fast that he was less than 5 meters away from the Marine formation in less than 2 seconds. Split Cannon. Buggy compresses Devil Fruit's split ability, ultimate, into a space the size of two fists. This has the advantage of allowing the split ability to reach its target faster. I won't let you succeed, Dark Hound. A Kainu Admiral was the first to rush in front of Buggy, one arm turned into hot lava, and collided with the clown's moves. The splitting ability and the endless stream of magma were so indistinguishable for a moment. The opponent's flat A and ultimate moves were too pervert. Sakazuki used Dark Hound continuously with both arms to forcefully offset Buggy the Clown. That was incredible. Decomposition ability. In the end, the split cannon and Dark Hound collided, and it completely turned into a competition on armament hockey. The black and thick fists clashed with each other, and there was a steely collision sound every time. Sakazuki felt that he had underestimated Buggy the Clown just now. The man who opened Devil Fruit to this extent was also excellent in physical skills. He couldn't take advantage of observation hockey. They had a brief fight with hockey for more than 10 rounds, but he couldn't win it. Thief. I will definitely keep you in Logue Town, Great Eruption. A huge amount of magma like a volcanic eruption, instantly burst out from a Kainu Admiral's right fist. The temperature of thousands of degrees seemed to melt everything, instantly covering the front of Buggy the Clown. You really underestimated me and divided the world. Just like the amount of magma erupted by a small volcano, in the face of the splitting devil fruit ability, even the clothes on Buggy could not touch it. It was divided into hundreds of small magma, all scattered and cracked from the front of the pirate, losing its original form aggressiveness. Sakazuki has been eating Logia Lava Lava fruit for so long, and this is the first time he has encountered the ability to decompose magma. The strong men he has fought with before have chosen to use armed colors to resist. For the first time, he has realized the extent of the development of devil fruit. It really determines the upper limit of a person's strength. 
The former Zephyr Admiral said that the current Kazaru Admiral relied too much on Devil Fruit's abilities. Now it seems that is not entirely true. Is hockey's era coming to an end? Sakazuki, let me show you the technique of Conqueror's Hockey. Kanzaki. Buggy's tall body passed through the magma blockade, wrapped around Conqueror's Hockey's fist, and punched Marine Admiral right in the face. Although Sakazuki was elementalized in advance, it was too late to take the blow alive. Complete punch marks were left on the entire face, and the bridge of the nose was directly broken. However, this man, as a Marine Admiral, suffered such a degree of attack and still did not lose consciousness. Pluton Column Sakazuki held the clown buggy's fist, and his whole body turned into a ball of hot magma. The magma formed a magma column more than 10 meters high, completely submerging the two people present. This terrifying magma column made everyone present change their expressions and even the temperature of the entire scene increased several degrees. Marine Admiral really didn't create it. Captain Buggy, don't let anything happen to you. Mochi, Alberta and others could only watch the battle from a distance. They could not withstand a fight between strong men of this level for even one minute. All Marines retreat, don't be affected by the lava. A Kainu Admiral will surely win. Smoker followed Marine and retreated to the shore, leaving room for the two monsters to fight. He, a Logia Fruit user, also did not dare to intervene in such a battle. The magma column lasted for a few minutes, and the figures of two tall men appeared in everyone's eyes. They were all hoping that their side would win the duel. Hey, it hurts so much. I almost got killed by you. Buggy the clown's entire left shoulder was penetrated by Dark Hound. Fortunately, top-level observation hockey saved his life. The Dark Hound missed his heart. Although his internal organs were spared and uninjured, he was unable to use his left hand for a while due to the damage to his skeleton. Strength. This is what Conqueror's Entanglement is called in the sky. It doesn't seem to hurt me very much if it hits me. As soon as Sakazuki finished speaking his pretentious words, a large mouthful of black blood spurted out from his mouth. He had taken another shot of Kanzaki in the lava just now, and his fist hit his lungs. Even breathing by Marine Admiral now causes pain. You are as strong as a monster. Marine Admiral is really scary. King Luffy took Teacher Kaido's tying blow, and the protagonist fainted directly. But when Buggy used the tying move, it didn't have the final effect. Is it because he didn't use a weapon? Or is this Sakazuki Admiral too hard? It's as strong as a monster. If you continue to fight, there will be no results. The opponent threw him down a step, but Sakazuki, who insisted on absolute justice, refused the clown's request without even thinking, Marine never compromises with pirates. Dark Hound. Split Cannon. The fatal moves collided again. This battle will never end unless one person falls, and Marine base becomes a hell of magma. The Logetown Marine branch was completely reduced to rubble within a few minutes. Every move from both sides was a large-scale destructive move. Houses were destroyed, the ground collapsed into the sea, and there was no good place in their path. Sakazuki thought about the ins and outs during the battle. Buggy had too many secrets. He jumped from a 2-meter dwarf to 4 meters, which was a bit taller than his admiral. Is the change in your body and personality caused by devil fruit? The great eruption, the raging lava churning with astonishing heat, was once an invincible force for mankind. As a villain in comics, Buggy the Clown is very self-conscious. He fights constantly with Marine Admiral, and he still has to find time to explain to this decent man that being a qualified villain is not easy. I used the fruit to split off my weakest character. I even cut off my bones and muscles to get taller. In order to weaken my own strength, the sky appeared and my plan was exposed. It's abominable. Split Cannon, Chop Chop Fruit brings the splitting ability to Buggy the Clown. It is totally unreasonable and seems to be able to separate all things. All substances in the world are in the category of decomposition. Lava Pluton, a lava giant tens of meters high, with hot lava flowing all over its body. This Sakazuki move actually has some magical power. The destructive power instantly doubled several times. Unfortunately, he couldn't meet his opponent, the clown with the fruit of liberation. True divided world. Buggy's fists were infused with devil fruit's ability, and his powerful ability to split apart could hit the lava giant from a distance of several meters. The two devil fruit abilities battled for a while, and soon the pirate gained the upper hand. 
Lasky's lava man immediately fell apart. Although your Logia devil fruit is the most aggressive, you are too addicted to hockey. Marine doesn't need a pirate to preach. Only hockey is the strongest in this sea. Two different beliefs, two paths of cultivation, two opposing identities of marine and pirate, today either you die or I die. Kanzaki. Dark Hound. The two powerful men's A-level move was their ultimate move. Neither of them wanted to take a step back. The ground was supported under their feet and was torn apart by the terrifying force. The island of Logue Town began to collapse. After that, Akainu chose to trade injuries with the clown to see who had more physical strength, armed color versus armed color, devil fruit versus devil fruit. This level of battle was completely beyond the imagination of the people of the world, and some frogs in the well had their first look. Opening my eyes, it turns out that there are such strong men in the world. Ghost Island Beast's Pirate Station. Young Master Yamato was watching the live broadcast with all her attention. When the battle was fierce, she held her hands nervously, these two guys are terrible, Marine Base was destroyed by them. This Marine Admiral and the Clown Buggy, I also want to fight them. I really want to join this battle. Kaido now maintains his human form, with the mace weapon in his hand wrapped around Conqueror's Hockey. The live broadcast of the death battle between strong men made the teacher itchy and wanted to find an evenly matched opponent to practice with. Let's leave quickly. Boss, this guy won't be able to bear it for a while. Keep your voice down, move quickly, move quickly. None of the beast's pirates cadres want to be Kaido's sparring partner. Fighting with this kind of monster is just a punching bag. After the fight, they have to lie in bed for several days. No one wants to be this unlucky guy. Kaido's group of men can't break it at all. His defense. Kaido started to cry again, and every time he cried, it came very suddenly, Yamato, I will train you to death, but it is all for your own good. With your current strength, if you encounter this kind of monster, you will only be killed. The father's love of the strongest creature is too overwhelming. Every time Yamato fights Kaido, he is always on the edge of life and death. He cannot forgive this father and does not treat her as his own child at all. He almost died several times. I am Kazuki Odin, I am the future king of Wanokuni, father, I will definitely defeat you. Yamato has read Kazuki Odin's diary. In the darkest time of her life, she actually found this strange path, which became her spiritual comfort in her dark life, and she looked completely brainwashed. He has been dead for almost 20 years, and I even buried his body. You are such a traitor and you are really looking for a beating. Kaido and Kurozumi Orochi plotted to kill Kazuki Odin, but he also fell into the Kazuki family's hypnosis fruit, and actually believed in his heart that the idiot was a real man. He also admired Hikaru and Odin from the bottom of his heart. The father and daughter committed the same crime. A disease. Come on Kaido, I'm not afraid of you, I want to fight you again. What a pathetic son. As a father, let me teach you a lesson. The Onigashima father-son game started again. Both sides were zone devil fruit phantom beasts. They fought with real fire. Unfortunately, Yamato never defeated Kaido. Marine Headquarters Marine Ford. Marines with military ranks above Vice Admiral, Marshal Sengoku, and Marine heroes are all sitting anxiously in the military situation room at the moment watching the entire life and death battle between Sakazuki Admiral and Clown Buggy through Morgan's exclusive live broadcast. Why hasn't the phone bug signal been cut off yet? Now everyone around the world is watching our marine jokes. The marine is the most powerful violent organization on the planet, but it relies on the world government for intelligence. It has a large number of cannon fodder soldiers, but special talents are very rare. For example, the current live broadcast signal of Morgan's, the marines on the scene are unable to do anything about it. In such a dangerous battle, the signal can be maintained without interruption, and the battle scenes can be clearly transmitted to the entire planet. However, the marine headquarters cannot do this kind of thing, arrive. Marine's own photography bug couldn't capture the picture as clearly as the newspaper king's live broadcast. It would be better to just watch the live broadcast and watch the battle of the century. It would be embarrassing to talk about it. I really didn't expect that the brat Akainu would fight so hard. In this serious occasion, Vice Admiral Garp, the hero of Marine, had no intention of joking with Marshal Sengoku. His admiral was so inseparable from a pirate that he didn't even want to eat Senbei. 
There was no such thing today. Appetite. Pelusolino is the fastest in Marine. I have sent him to reinforce Sakazuki. I never expected that an East Blue Pirate would dispatch two admirals from our headquarters. Since the Battle of the Valley of Gods, Marine has been crushing pirates all over the world except for the second half of the Grand Line. Will this situation end at the hands of Sengoku? East Blue is known as the weakest sea in the world, and the biggest credit goes to Vice Admiral Garb. Every year when he goes back to his hometown of Windmill Town for vacation, he plows the pirates in East Blue. After that, Smoker settled in Logue Town and let the people who were born in Logue Town for the East Blue Pirates, it is more difficult to enter the Grand Line. But the most ironic thing is that it was East Blue who hid such a pirate who could fight Admiral. Buggy the Clown not only slapped Smoker in the face, but also slapped the Marine Hero in the face. One old man and one young man continued their efforts for more than 20 years. After a live broadcast, everything was returned, and it was all in vain. Sengoku, please let me go back, so that I can put an end to East Blue's affairs. The Marine Hero returns to East Blue. The first thing he needs to do is to solve the big problem of Buggy the Clown. The second thing is to catch his grandson Luffy. He is still wandering around on the Grand Line. There may not be any problems before the Sky Curtain appears. Now the situation is chaotic and many things are out of control. Take control. Garp can feel that troubled times are approaching, and some unreasonable things are completely out of Marine's control. If Luffy is not caught by his side, he may not be able to protect his biological grandson. Although he has seen many things like a white-haired person giving a black-haired person, but he didn't want it to happen to him. The Vice Admiral Garp Marine Headquarters needs you to be in charge. New information is coming from the maritime surveillance ship. The red-haired Shanks is meeting with Whitebeard. We have to guard against the two emperors joining forces. Marshal Sengoku cannot let his old friends go as they please this time. They not only have to protect the marine headquarters, but also the nearby world government and Eni's lobby. The burden on them is very heavy. Not good a Kainu admiral is in danger. This is impossible, Sakazuki cannot be defeated. Amidst the discussion of marine vice admiral, everyone's attention once again focused on the live broadcast. At the Logue Town Marine Branch, the entire site has been covered in lava. If it were a place where no one else could stay, this little thing would not be a problem for Buggy the Clown. The ability of Chop Chop Fruit to decompose has always been around the body. The magma where his feet stood was completely decomposed and could not hurt him at all. Maintaining the ability of the fruit consumes some physical strength. On the other hand, Sakazuki was like a fish in the sea. He swam through the magma sea and kept fighting closely with Buggy the Clown, always looking for flaws in his fruit. Admiral's sufficient physical strength could support him to fight for several more days and nights. The elite marines of the headquarters have retreated to the warship, and the survivors of the Clown Pirates have all fled to Logue Town for refuge. Both sides know that they cannot help their boss, and can only watch the other side decide the winner from a distance. How about you call me the strongest creature? After taking several punches from me, you still have the ability to stand up. Conqueror's entangling skills a Kainu admiral can only fight hard, but he can withstand every wave of powerful attacks. His internal organs are severely damaged but he can still fight. He is truly a terrifying monster. Your decomposition ability still has limitations. There are pauses during the release of powerful moves, and this gap time is getting longer and longer. Your physical strength is almost unable to support it. When you can't use that power, you will when you die. Sakazuki's fighting talent is really enviable. He actually figured out the weakness of Devil Fruit, which is torn apart. The Clown Buggy's decomposition ability seems to be unsolvable, but every time it is used, it consumes a lot of physical strength. This is the most fatal weakness of pirates. I didn't expect you to see it. I am truly a marine admiral. I have no choice but to take action. The power of the torn apart devil fruit flows in the body of Buggy the Clown. He wants Sakazuki to witness with his own eyes the true power of devil fruit's liberation. Let's see how many more tricks you can use, great eruption. A simple and crude method, a huge amount of magma bursting out like a volcanic eruption, Sakazuki thought of using this method to consume the opponent's physical strength. Devil fruit is liberated, really, falling apart. 
This sudden and terrifying move instantly split the magma created by the great eruption. Sakazuki wrapped his whole body with advanced armament hockey, trying to use his previous experience to resist this decomposition force. No, this is impossible. A Kainu admiral in advanced armament hockey, who were originally black and translucent, actually had no effect this time in front of that decomposition ability. Even a person's hockey could be torn apart. Sakazuki, who lost armament hockey's defense, took the initiative to elementalize his body to withstand the terrifying power of decomposition. What greeted him next was a big black and thick fist. Kanzaki. Buggy, the clown with the advantage of height, punched a Kainu admiral on the head with his right fist, entangled with the top conqueror's hockey and the advanced armament hockey. Moreover, the opponent temporarily lost his hockey ability, and this punch directly drove Admiral into the ground. This shocking punch penetrated the marine branch and sent Admiral, who had eaten the Logia Devil fruit, into the sea. Let Sakazuki save his energy and play with the sea water. If it were Marine Ford, the Marine headquarters, he could dig a tunnel through the magma and come back. However, the Marine branch's land was relatively thin, and a Kainu Admiral lost this opportunity to do sit ups. It seems I won, ha ha ha. The ultimate winner of this battle, the clown buggy, stood there, and the live broadcast of his wild laughter spread throughout the world through the newspaper King's Camera Bug. Marine Admiral was actually defeated by a pirate. This was a major event that shocked the world. Sakazuki is indeed Marine's strongest admiral. The attack power of the natural lava lava fruit is too terrifying, leaving horrific burns on the enemy, but it still can't stop the cheating clown buggy. After the awesome Akainu Admiral was knocked into the sea, he never had a chance to come back. The winner of this shocking battle belonged to the pirates. Gia Gia Gia, I was almost killed by the Marine Admiral. Sakazuki, please fall into the sea and feed the Sea Kings. Continuous use of chop chop fruit severely exhausted the clown buggy's physical strength. His 4 meter tall body stood trembling on the spot. If not for his amazing willpower, he would have fallen down at this moment. The buggy pirates were watching the results of the battle with binoculars in the distance. The survivors burst into cheers. They did not expect that Captain Buggy really did it. Captain Buggy is invincible. Even Admiral is no match for Buggy-sama, we are the strongest pirate group. Alberta was even more excited and trembling all over. A woman had never seen such a powerful man before. The men she had enslaved before were all weaklings, such as the deserter King Kebi. The release of fruit power is really powerful. I am demon fruit power and I want to learn it too. Master Buggy is so powerful. The pirates were overjoyed. The marines on the warship at the scene felt like they were mourning. Their hearts were shattered. A Kainu admiral was actually defeated from the front. This group of people all knew that the demon fruit power fell into the sea. If no one rescued them, they would be killed. Nothing good comes of it. A few more people will come with me to rescue a Kainu Admiral. The others will help us delay. We still have a chance to rescue him. After speaking, the Ghost Spider Vice Admiral jumped into the sea first, followed by dozens of Marine soldiers who jumped in. They took a deep breath before entering the water. They all held the belief that they would die if they could not catch Sakazuki Admiral in this trip. Even if you choke to death in the sea, you won't float. Gunners prepare. Everyone fires at Buggy the Clown. Boom boom boom. The marine warship's fierce artillery fire once again sounded on the coast, and hundreds of explosive shells were fired at the enemy's position. What a bunch of reckless marines. You've pissed me off. Divided world. The terrifying and weird splitting ability was demonstrated again. Marines' shells were broken into pieces in midair, with no effect at all. Let Admiral sleep in the sea forever, don't try to save him. The clown buggy is very fast and arrived at the coast in the blink of an eye. He wants to take action against the marines who are going to rescue Admiral. Dealing with marine Admiral is too troublesome, but he must not be allowed to survive. Dual split. The ability of devil fruit to be torn apart was compressed into two forces. The compression means that a single move is powerful, and the originally calm sea surface was artificially cut open. Not only was the sea surface cut open, but the marine warship beside it was also split into two. The unlucky marine soldier on the ship was also split in half from the front without avoiding it. The powerful ability to separate the sea shocked everyone present. 
The dozen or so marine soldiers who entered the water behind were cut off in the middle. The blood of these people dressed in justice dyed the sea red, and soon the stumps of these people would come ashore. The ghost spider vice admiral, who was diving with all his strength, was also severely injured by the segmentation ability, and his legs were cut off directly from his body. This ruthless man endured the pain and used life returned to temporarily seal the wounds of the severed limbs, otherwise he will bleed to death. Buggy the clown's top observation hockey, after scanning the seabed, immediately discovered the ghost spider, a fish that had slipped through the net. The opponent could continue to dive without his legs. It's really stubborn. I even have no legs and I still have to find Marine Admiral. That's it. Aren't you afraid of death? Seeing this powerful pirate, he raised his hand to continue to use the devil fruit power. As the only Logia demon fruit power on the scene, Smoker didn't know how to do anything. His companions were killed by the pirates. He couldn't act like a deserter like Kirby. Way of doing. Don't even think about succeeding, Buggy the Clown, your opponent is me. White man. The elements of Smoker's body transformed into a trail of smoke, floating to Buggy's side and trapping this terrible enemy. The white smoke blocked his sight, trying to buy as much time as possible for the Marines. A Logia demon fruit power who doesn't know hockey dares to appear in front of me. Doesn't he underestimate me a little bit? Wrapped in armament hockey's fist, he used observation hockey to scan the surrounding white smoke. I found your body, look at the fist. The big black and thick fist hit the white hunter smoker in the chest. In Hockey's version, the Logia fruit was forcibly weakened. In the previous version T0, Colonel Marine's entire figure flew out with this heavy punch and was about to fall in. C. White smoke launcher. His whole body turned into elemental white smoke and sprayed into the air again, and he almost lost the ability to fight when he came into contact with the seawater. However, Buggy the Clown's punch just now caused him serious injuries. He vomited blood and even his chest was dented. This is because the opponent did not entangle conquerors in the case of. Okay, Colonel Smoker, I wonder if you can still catch my next punch. The Marines on the warship did not sit back and watch Smoker fight alone. The elite members of the team were Grandmaster Hockey, who had learned Marine Six styles in the training camp. They had no intention of retreating in the face of powerful enemies. They all used Moonwalk, one of the Marine Six styles, to step into the sky. Some Marines who knew Tempest Kick released slashes in the air. More elite Marines chose to fight in close combat with Buggy the Clown. As long as they used their own lives to delay the opponent's time, there the blood will not be shed in vain, and everything is bet on the Ghost Spider Vice Admiral. Brothers, go ahead and hold him back, we will win. Marine is never afraid of pirates. Buggy the Clown, don't underestimate Marine. Seeing this group of elite Marine soldiers washed up on the shore, the Clown Buggy smiled even more wildly, Gia Gia Gia, then let you accompany a Kainu Admiral, so that you can be a companion on the road to hell. Split Web. A large invisible net was spread out on the front, and it quickly opened to the elite Marines. They could only use the low-grade armament hockey, but some marines did not know the high-grade armament hockey and could not wrap the whole body. They were instantly divided into dozens of fragments, leaving only one. Only the black hand holding the knife is still intact. One attack sent away 50 or 60 marines. When their bodies were torn apart and dying, there was still a strong flame of war in their eyes. They fell on this land unwillingly, but no matter how strong their will was, they could not reverse the results of the battle. People turned into pieces of flesh and piled up on the shore. The marines who survived the high-level armament hockey had no time to grieve for their companions. The swords in their hands turned black and slashed at the pirates with armament hockey. The elite marine snipers in the distance, with bullets wrapped around armament hockey, were all fighting for justice. Split Cannon Several marines who were about to get close used hockey to resist the decomposition ability, but how could their hockey compare with a Kainu admiral? As long as hockey was not supplied in time and relaxed slightly, they would be defeated in less than two minutes. As if the whole person was attacked by a cannonball, the marine elite exploded into a ball of blood mist. Under the attack of the split cannon, they were called one by one. No miracle happened. These people all died heroically in front of the clown buggy, and the hot blood splashed on the pirates. All in one. The coast of the Logue Town Marine branch has become the slaughterhouse of marine elites.
Seeing his marine colleagues being brutally injured one after another on the coast, Smoker's eyes were filled with blood. He hated himself for being so weak. Why didn't he train hockey and develop the fruit's ability better? He wouldn't be without it today. The power of a battle. Buggy the clown, stop it. The man's sharp roar was different this time. Conqueror's hockey bloomed in his body, and everyone present could feel it. Originally, the clown buggy was playing house with the elite marines. He liked this kind of unilateral killing of the weak and did not quickly kill all the marines in front of him. Smoker, even you have awakened Conqueror's hockey. It seems that what is said on the sky screen is right. You really have a chance to become a marine admiral in the future. Let's kill you here to save you more trouble at sea in the future. Union split. He compressed the splitting ability ultimate into a small amount and shot it out at high speed. Even though Smoker's body would become elemental, he wouldn't. Hockey couldn't withstand this kind of attack. The future Marine Admiral is not yet a Marine Admiral. Smoker feels that he is locked by the splitting ability, and realizes that he cannot escape. The Logia Smoke Fruit Elemental Flower fully blooms. Colonel Smoker, get out of the way. A Marine Admiral has already been involved in this battle, but another future Marine Admiral has to be lost. This is unacceptable to Marine present, and the mentality of continuing to fight begins to fall into despair. Buggy the Clown's fatal splitting ability is constantly disintegrating the elemental body. Smoker is still making the final struggle. He does not believe that he will die here. He will not hockey, so he chooses to use his fruit ability to resist. Wind King Hammer a strong sword energy was wrapped in a strong wind, and it instantly tore through Buggy the Clown's moves. On the battlefield between Marine and Pirates, another figure appeared. A blonde girl with snow-like skin holds an invisible weapon in both hands, and her green eyes reveal a strong fighting spirit. If she were not wearing a silver armor, this beautiful person would be more like a noble girl. Thank you for coming to the rescue. Smoker thanked the female swordsman who took action. She had already fallen into a disadvantage in the competition of fruit abilities. If this girl hadn't come to the rescue, she might have been split up on the spot. This poor place in East Blue can actually breed such a powerful female swordsman like you. Why are you causing trouble for me today? Buggy the clown actually made a defensive posture. This girl who was less than 1.6 meters tall actually made him so wary. Helping Marine means that he is not a pirate. If this strong reinforcement joins, maybe this battle can be turned around. My name is Artoria Pendragon, and I am the one who takes your life today. The blonde girl held an invisible weapon and rushed to the coast where Buggy the Clown was in an instant. It was as if the two people had a natural hatred and she was so anxious to kill the enemy. Unary Decomposition In Marine's exclamation, the blonde girl who calls herself Artoria can actually withstand Buggy's decomposition ability without being covered in armor. How is this possible? No need, Hockey can actually block my ability. Little Buggy was briefly surprised, and the invisible weapon of the blonde girl made him even more uncertain. Wind King's Barrier The opponent's sword blade was actually able to wrap around the strong wind, and it struck the clown Buggy's body with one strike, leaving a long scar on the opponent's chest. Originally, Chop Chop Fruit's passive was to be immune to swordsman slashes, but today it didn't work in front of this girl. This was the first time it appeared. The invisible sword weapon made it impossible for Buggy the Clown to determine the attack distance. He was wrapped in armament hockey, but he was still killed by the blonde girl who left a sword on her body. The opponent must have a good sword, otherwise it would be impossible to break through his defense. Buggy the Clown stepped back. He wanted to distance himself from the female swordsman. The opponent was immune to the devil fruit ability and was definitely no match for a great swordsman in close combat. How could such a monster appear in East Blue? Marine, who was rescued by the girl on the coast, even praised from the side. What a powerful swordswoman, she can actually hurt Buggy the Clown, why are you not affected by Devil Fruit? For magic power, this is one of the abilities I have developed. It can offset most of the effects of Devil Fruit's abilities and offset my own negative status without spending any physical energy. It is considered one of my passive abilities. Everyone was stunned after hearing the blonde girl's explanation. This ability felt even more awesome than armament hockey. This group of elite marines had never heard of it. Such an awesome ability was one of them. It was really infuriating. 
What a terrible woman. I won't play with you anymore. The clown buggy fled the scene at an extremely fast speed and flew towards his pirate group. This escape speed is estimated to be only matched by Admiral. The sudden reversal of the battle situation caught everyone present off guard. The pirate who had been so aggressive and coaxing just now was actually frightened away by a female swordsman, leaving the marines at a loss for what to do. Suddenly a voice appeared in the sea, someone help me. The ghost spider vice admiral's hair was restored with life, and his hair turned into eight hands holding a black lava giant block, enduring the temperature from above, and it looked like a humanoid. What he fished out was none other than a Kainu admiral. The marine soldiers worked together to drag the two people to the shore. Vice Admiral, the ghost spider who had lost his legs, fell on the shore, gasping for fresh air. He almost suffocated to death in the sea. The huge black lava block quickly gushes magma from the inside. Marine Admiral Sakazuki stood up again from inside. His head was opened by Buggy the Clown and he was still bleeding. Without armament hockey's defense, his head was hard hit. Conqueror's entanglement caused the man to briefly lose consciousness. The moment he was about to fall into the sea, he used the fruit's ability to wrap his whole body in magma. After falling into the sea, the magma was eroded by the sea water and turned into a dark magma block. It was a coffin tailor made for him. Although he did not lose his physical strength in the sea, his little bit of lava could only helplessly continue to fall in front of the sea, and the oxygen inside was also consumed little by little. If the ghost spider vice admiral hadn't sacrificed his legs to save him, Sakazuki would have had to wait until he sank to the bottom of the sea before Sakazuki could escape by drilling into the magma on the bottom of the sea. Then he emerged from who knows which crater, but by then his marine men would have already has been completely killed by Buggy. A Kainu admiral's eyes scanned the surroundings, and some familiar figures could no longer be seen. He realized that marine's personnel were severely reduced, and Buggy the clown was not here. He did not know where he had gone, and there was also a mysterious blonde girl. Who is she? In order to avoid misunderstanding, Smoker took the initiative to explain that he did not want his savior to be suspected for no reason. The other party had the strength to repel Buggy the Clown, and Marine could not create a strong enemy for himself. Sakazuki heard about the situation on the battlefield after he left, and nodded to the blonde girl. This was the greatest kindness he could show. But the girl's unreasonable words raised questions in the minds of all the marines present. If this island is destroyed, you don't have to ask me to compensate you. The golden hair on Artoria's head fluttered in the wind. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.